Hello, chat. We're back. What is it? Oh, there we go. There's Greenos. Back with the quarterly stream. That seems to be the, the pattern, is I do like one stream every three months at this rate. Uh, yeah, I was going to do this last week, and then my schedule changed, and then I was going to do it tomorrow, and I was like, eh, we'll do it today. And then I ended up being 30 minutes late because I had to install new drivers. But we're here. We made it. And today we're doing something very different. Let's, let's switch over to it. Just get into it. The Azumanga Dio tier list. We're not even gaming today. That's how special it is. Um, Look at that, we've got 130 um, segments, I guess. I don't really know what to call them. Uh, we're not ranking the episodes. We're doing like each scene. Like each episode has five like titled segments that he, like, each have their own title. Um, and I, I think in the manga, they would be chapters, but um we're just we're just basing it off the anime so 26 episodes uh five segments for each one and that, that gives us 130 to rank here um i just took screenshots that i from like each one um they're not all super identifiable by their screenshots, but at least they're in order. And we'll got another tab here that we can use to click through. Um, and yeah, we're going to objectively rank every single segment from Azumanga Dio, which is anime that came out in, in 2002, and it, it's a banger. You've probably seen memes from it if you haven't watched it. Um, it is it is girls doing things. There's, like, no plot, but um, it's funny. Funny in a way that is different from other anime, which I enjoy. So, yeah, we're just going to rank these, and we have a guest. We've got Garrett here. I don't know how much Azumanga he's seen. I know he's seen some. 
but he's gonna he's gonna keep me grounded. Hello. Hello. I'm gonna uh, share my screen for you. Let's see if I can. Hopefully this doesn't blow up my laptop. Um, I'll stream at 15 frames a second just to be safe. I didn't know they capped resolution uh, unless you have nitro. That's weird. Okay. I was messing around with some launchers. It turns out that one of the that I won't get into, but that something moved to Steam, which is awesome. But now I have to mm. deal with that. All right, I've studied a lot. I'll I'm, I'm turning up for a this. little bit. Yeah, I don't know how long this is going to take. It it could take like an hour. It could take four hours, but I'm I do like one stream every three long. months, so it's like it is whatever. I will, however long it takes, we're doing it all in one sitting. That's that's my plan. Okay, but yeah, but we we should go in order because I have no other way to identify these pictures. Uh, I agree with you. I won't be able to figure it out either. So yeah, I like that. So let's see the first segment i think this is the one where the teacher is late to school and then uh, she steals a kid's bike and then she walks into the wrong class um and i i think that's it each each segment's about like five minutes long so like you can trying to I'm trying to scroll through and see like where the next one starts. It's probably like right around here. Yeah, that's when they introduce each other or yeah. themselves. Overall I I'm gonna say this is a, a classic uh maybe C or B tier is what I would say. Yeah, I think I think it's it's different from what the rest of the show is. I was a gonna bit. say the same thing. I think that it's definitely not the greatest introduction to the rest of the show, but maybe that's expected from the show to have a I don't know how much of it is planned, but it's very like a lot of the show it's very unique. Um Yeah. I don't know. I, I, I would think say I, that like hmm. My favorite part's when she steals the kid's bike. That's about it for me. That's why I even have it at B tier. I think it may maybe it does a good job of like easing you in. Um, yeah. But it's like the most of the show is about the like main group of six students. Yeah. And I don't know it. It takes a minute to heat up. I I think I might put this in like. C like high C. I don't C. think it deserves D. That, that's what yeah, I'm no, there's here. there's nothing wrong with it. Um, no. compared I, to the grand scheme of Azumanga Dio, I don't think there's anything sp spectacular. Yeah, yeah, I think that's good. We could move it up to B later if we want to. No, literally the only thing that I like about it is that she steals that kid's bike. That's that's enough for me to warrant a, a B, but. I like the part where Excuse she walks me. into the wrong class. I think that's like that's so relatable. I I think that <laughs> I think that part is like um I don't know. That's that's a pretty good introduction. Like that's that's when you realize oh this is this is the kind of thing I'm getting into. Um I think it's a good introduction of her character. Yeah, well, I I mean like the the style of comedy. Um, oh yeah, that too. I just mean generally speaking, she's kind of like a. Yeah, this is know. one of your more like favorite characters, right? 
I you're like a fan of the teacher. The I like both the uh, female teachers. I don't like the, the male teacher at all. But like, <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll get into that. Her, her and her friend are good. I like her. Yeah. We'll stick so, with that for now. Yeah, pretty, pretty all right. So then the second one is introducing Chio. This chapter yeah. is called She's, She's a, a prodigy. prodigy. And then, um, let's see. I'm just going to scroll through this fast. This joke is where Chio's teaching her classmate, but the teacher thinks it's the other way around. Um, I don't know. She's just being awesome. And then she she can't do tongue twisters. And then she forgot to do her homework. I don't know. It's like, it's a collection of jokes centered around introducing Chio as a character. I, I like Chio. I think it's a solid D tier. I, I don't think that she's anything more than a dictator. I, I think that she's Whoa. one of the worst characters in the show by far. She only does bad things and it deserves all of the pain that comes her way in the next part of the show. Wow. I agree that this one's not great. I think I would put it low C tier. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. I don't know. She's just kind of like a pathological liar. Like, even at the beginning, I don't think she actually knew how to do that shit. I think she was just faking it. And that, messing with someone else's education like that's kind of fucked up. Oh. You think it's all, it's all fake? I think that she's really good at lying confidently. And no one's ever tried to check her because she is like a child. Huh. Yeah. That's my insight from the from the whole show. Um and I I was ready to like I I was formulating opinions for the stream and mm. that's definitely the one that I think is the most solid. I don't think she knows shit. I think she she's a pathological liar. And she's shameless about it too. That'd be sick. I would rate her higher if that was the case. I, she literally... It's just the insatiable, it, the insatiable hunger for vanity that she desires uh, to be smarter than everyone else. I well, yeah, maybe if I, was, if I was doing this on my own, I might have put that in, in B tier. Because <laughs> I like Chio. But yeah. um, you, you've convinced me that it's... It's not as good as the first segment. I'll put it below Absolutely the first not. segment. Yeah. Because um, Chio has better moments than this. Um, Let's we'll see. We'll see. I, I, I can't wait to talk about those. Yeah. Well, Chio's awesome when she interacts with the other characters. And, yeah, when she's and lying at, to at, them. <laughs> yeah, at this point in the show, she... Like the other characters haven't really been introduced, so it's just, yeah. You need to. It needs to heat up a little more. Yeah, one hundred percent. Wait. Oh, okay. Actually, so I say, is this part of it? Um, yeah, because the next chapter starts like right after that. Okay, so, I give her F tier. What? <laughs> I was gonna say this makes it better. This is this is awesome. I just can't help but think about the the thoughts behind her eyes. She's she's fucking evil. You can you can feel the way you want. I I am suspicious. Yeah. Okay. Her, her integrity and her intentions there. I like that take. I do feel a little bad about low C tier on that one, but we could, we could come back to that. 
Oh, 100%. Um, okay, scary, maybe. Um, so this is introducing Sakaki. Um, is there any substance here? Suspicious. Uh, I think the idea is that people don't have a good read on her. And, and I guess the cat thing. there's the cat thing, yeah. I don't know. I think that the first show or the first episode isn't terrible, but I definitely think that these are some some weak hits. Yeah, I don't. Um, I think this character grew on me, but it's not I don't. Bad. I don't think I, this first bit, this first one is yeah very good this is a this is a bit that pays off in the long run yeah you know it's not one of those uh, the, the cat bite thing is like kind of funny now but like when it happens for the thousandth time and nothing changes that's when it really hits yeah um so for that reason alone i think that we start c tier we'll see it later and it's gonna be rated higher and higher as it goes i think is, is, I think. Oh, you, I, I was, uh, honestly, I was prepared to put this in D tier. But, what, what was that last part with the, uh, because that doesn't end with Sokka P. What's the... Is yeah, that, I, I think this is... Baz? Yeah, this is introducing Tomo. I think this is the same chapter. It seems like it. it Actually, no. Oh, there it, was. It changes here, so you get like, you get like 10 seconds. Okay, I wouldn't even count it. Yeah, yeah I wouldn't I would count that. D yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm cool with that D tier. It's not like horrible, but I there's not much that I think would rank lower than that. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Okay. So next up. Wildcat Tomo Chan. Um, okay, my my bias is I don't like this character. I don't think she's terrible, but this is not a, a high moment for them. I think I think she's good when when Yomi, like the one in glasses, the one that looks like Shion. I think I think Tomo's good. When she's around to keep her in check, yeah, and it's like the, the the funny guy and like the the straight man. Um, what? That's like the comedy, like duo, oh. like the the straight man. Straight man, huh? Yeah, that's that's what it's called, right? Interesting. I don't make the rules. All right. Well, I'm glad that's on straight. Not my streamer. Whatever. Uh, I think it's alright. I don't think it's anything crazy. I would even put that in D tier. You would? I or would, would not? I don't... I, I would. I I don't actually think I have as much of a negative bias against Tomo as you do. But I yeah. definitely... I definitely yeah. don't think that this is anything crazy. Like I said, the first episode... It's definitely not the best one, but that's kind of like how most shows are, aren't they? Like, I, I don't know. I could be wrong about that, but like a lot of this is a lot of setup and exposition. Yeah, I think. Uh, I mean, the the whole show is about the group of students interacting with each other, and yeah, they they're introducing them basically like individually in this episode, so they're not gonna be able to shine in the way they're meant to. Right. Um, yeah, I I'm not a big fan of Tomo, but I I thought I thought you had a more favorable opinion of her, so I, I thought I do, you being like on I stream said, this is just not yeah. Would you put it this above is... or below Sakaki? Definitely below. Okay. They don't have any bits that are gonna grow or anything like that. It's just a very mid like chapter. Mm. All right. So this last one. This is with Yukari. So oh, the Osakan gal. Yeah. Oh. 
Okay, so this is... This is a good Tomo bit. Yeah. I don't really get it, but that's, that's funny. They have, like, the potential of being awesome. It's, it's not yeah. Not great. Okay. Osaka. I like Osaka. <laughs> yes, Perko's actually awesome. I love uh, how, <laughs> how much they profile her for being a Tokyo <laughs> or anyone. It's, it's awesome. Yeah. And Osaka's lunch should have takoyaki in it. Yeah. Like, day one, she's dealing with profiling and imposter syndrome just from. And not, I don't know. I like this part a lot, to be honest. Yeah, this is good. I mean, like, it's no question that Osaka is one of the better, like, and stronger characters of the show, but, like, this has so far been the best introduction to a character. Yeah. So. Oh, and that's I'd it. I'd give that, like, probably a B or an A, to be honest. Yeah, I, I think. I do enjoy the, the profiling quite a lot. That's pretty good. I feel like there are going to be a lot of A tiers. Yeah, I know. I, but the, I, I I put that in A. That's like noticeably, like better than the other chapters yeah. in that episode. I don't know what to call the segments. I I call them bits. Bits. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we could do. We could go with that. A tier for now. All right, we'll that's... definitely be able to amend that if we feel like it deserves B tier. Yeah. Hopefully hopefully we'll be able to uh, remember what's what a little bit. I tried to pick screenshots that were like a little like somewhat identifiable. Yeah. Like you could you could tell this is where Osaka is introduced. Um yeah, some are some screenshots are better than others though. Okay, episode two. Actually, before we do that, I've got this other tab open, just IMDB, and it has it has an episode list that like lists out each of the bits. Um, yeah. In case it's hard to find one, I don't know. But they interestingly they've got like ratings for each episode on its own and you could see like which individual episodes are top rated yeah which is interesting and uh i don't know if i agree with all of these <laughs> i i might agree with most of them um but let's Wait, see let's go back down for a second just one, one second i know we're not even on this part but Okay, that's interesting. Never mind. You're good. Yeah. We'll, uh, we'll get through. We we'll get through. I suppose. Um, I'm just checking the ratings for each one. Yeah, episode one is rated the worst out of all of them. That makes sense. I mean, um, like they realistically they can't have any of the funny bits where they like there's different chemistry or like yeah sorts of like interactions because they have to be able to introduce each character which makes yeah. the first episode pretty bland yeah yeah i don't think there's i wouldn't say the first episode's bad but and i'm not sure that i would say it's the worst i would i'm not sure if i would agree that it's the worst episode but um yeah, would, uh, it looks I like it looks like the people agree that most of these would probably be rated pretty low. I think if I watched them in order, I think the first episode would be the most likely for me to like stop watching the show, if that makes any sense. Like maybe I don't know. There's there's worse like kind of like filler episodes, but like once you yeah. get to those, it's like it's like, oh, but I know it'll get better. Yeah, if like, you if you know what you're getting into, it might like 
ease you into it, but it's definitely like if if I wanted to show someone one episode of Azumanga Dio, it would not be the first episode. No. Um, which is kind of a shame because it's nice to know what the characters are about, but they're just better episodes. For example, episode two, Osaka Day. That's yeah, the name of the episode. A decent one. So, what was this called? Osaka Today as well. So, what happens here? She she misses the light. Uh, she meets Chio. Um, oh, she chases she chases the floaters in her eyes. That's good. Um, and then there's a cockroach. And she's still chasing the floaters. I think that's about it. I would not say that's the best Osaka uh, segment. I mean, yeah, I think that's definitely a, a C tier moment for me. C tier. I don't know. I I mean, it's it's all right. I think that the floaters is funny, but like I think the floaters. Yeah, I I I give the floaters a lot of points just because who who would think of writing a joke like that. Like, that's awesome. Um, I just mean, like, there's going to be better Osaka moments. Yeah. I think that this is, like, weirdly enough, like, a better introduction to Osaka's character than her actual introduction. Definitely. Um, it's, it establishes kind of her her spot in, like, the group. Mm -hmm. thing. But, like, I don't know. Like... I think that B tier is like, we haven't ran into one yet, but I think we'll know it when we see it. Personally, I say C. You could put it in B if you think yeah. so, but... I was, I was thinking about B, um, but maybe that's, maybe that's giving too many points to Osaka just because it's Osaka. Yeah. Um, I'll put it... I'll put it in high C. I think that's that's probably good for now. I do I do like some of these bits, but yeah, definitely. I was say, the one the next one is really good. I think that, but I won't get ahead of myself. But yeah, I think. Oh yeah, we don't have to. We don't have to like go back to the episodes and scroll okay. through them for every one. Okay. Well, this is the volleyball one, and the only reason why I like it is because. The the whole thing's like all right. We do get introduced to the other teacher, who I, I think is awesome. Oh yeah. She doesn't really, she doesn't really do anything here. Mm -hmm. But I do like, even though I despise Chio, I think that the uh, the back and forth between Chio and Osaka playing volleyball is really funny. Yeah, this is good. <laughs> all right forward a little bit more like the actual volleyball part i could i like i like volleyball or whatever but like i this is not like high key or anything it's this is so this is the start of chio like abuse yeah this is that's why i think it's kind of awesome yeah this is a staple she's fucking faking it she's fine <laughs> yeah this bit yeah this is good probably Yeah. That's pretty good. So are you thinking... What are you thinking for this one, then? You know, it's really hard, because, like... Half the half of the bit is, like, set up. And, like, them playing volleyball. Yeah, up before this, that, it's, like, nothing too crazy. Yeah, like, like I said, I like, I like the teacher, but we're not gonna really get to... That, that wasn't enough of a, mm -hmm. any contribution for me to consider them. I, I think that, like... Fuck, 
it's it's so funny. Uh, let's see. So like, I I, I don't know. Like, I, I is it better than Osaka's like region profiling and imposter syndrome? I I don't know. I think it could be a B tier only because if mm. if the, if there was a more elaborate and longer bit, I would consider it to be A or S. But the problem is, is that like half of it's them playing volleyball and it's yeah, it's funny. yeah. Some some of these segments are carried just by like one joke and the rest of and it is just it, kind of whatever it's set up it's important yeah. i i'm not saying that it's like you could just cut that out and then like not yeah or whatever it's important a lot of the show is like setting up expectations and then giving mundane answers mm-hmm. i would say or like just bizarre shit but like this is one of them that like as a product of that it's gonna be a good joke but it's gonna be probably um i'd say a b tier yeah i think i think i like b tier for this one um yeah the rest of it is is like okay and then yeah i i I like this bit a lot it's kind of it might be like a lot of the jokes are just like something goes on for like 30 seconds longer than it should and that's funny this might be like the first one of those but yeah that's that's kind of like the main thing going on here so i like b now hiccups hiccups it just goes crazy i i don't like hiccups really um well maybe so the hiccups bit like extends through like pretty much the whole rest of the episode. It's not just this section. Yeah. Like, this is good. Where she splits her chopsticks neatly. Because this comes back later. This comes back later, like at the end of the series. And this the same bit happens. I don't know, I think this is funny. That's, that's good, I like that. Um, she feeds Osaka the spicy, which is funny, and she gets hiccups. And then they try to fix it. I like the remedies portion, I'm gonna be honest. Yeah. They're they're silly, but like, this is like, this is some, some real shit right here. This is... The yeah okay struggle so it, it ends right there yeah um i think that's good yeah i i like that what i what i like less is that the hiccups bit like continues on for much longer but i, I think this first part of the hiccups bit like just this section um that's good like I, I can't I can't factor in the fact that it, it goes on for a little longer than I'd like um at this point. Yeah. If we're just rating this one. So um I would say A or B. I think that's a hard one. It's not like it's not a like god tier bit. Yeah, it's it's not it's like super noticeably better than the other B-tier one we have, like the volleyball one. I just one. think it's, like, on the same level... I don't think it, like... I don't think it's on the same level tier-wise, but it's the same type of comedy that we'll see with, specifically, like, Osaka. Like, same shit with, like, the, uh, the floaters, where it's, like, more... I would say mundane, but, like, also kind of relatable common, like or, like, comedy. Mm-hmm. Some of the other stuff will be really absurd, but, like... I don't know. I think B tier yeah. is a solid choice. Yeah, I think I'll leave it here, below like the a, volleyball. Like I just, it's one of those ones where you're like, oh yeah, I remember all the stupid shit I tried to do, or like people tried mm-hmm. to tell you to do when you had hiccups. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, that, that's a good one. So then this next bit is like more remedies. Um, 
I don't know. I like this cart too. I, it's it's just. Hmm. But I don't know. I like this one less. Because it's more of the same but worse. Is what I think. Um. It's just Osaka getting hurt, and you hate to see that, you know? No, it's awesome. Mm. I do think it's slightly worse, but... And Chio gets hic hiccups. Okay, yeah, that's it. Um... Hmm. What are you thinking? I feel like this... I don't know. I would definitely put it in... Not in B tier. It's, yeah. I, I think it's definitely lower than the last one. I'm trying to think. It's probably... Lower than this Osaka bit. Um, I definitely think it's better than Fight. You think so? You, you think it should go here? Yeah. Okay. I think naturally a lot of things are going to be higher than those, but that's just my opinion. Uh, yeah. Because they're, they're introductions. Yeah, I think mean, like, I'm cool with that. Like setting a, 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 a line in the sand and saying that that's like the rule. Uh, more just like, I don't know. These are good. These are more like these are developing more and more like the relationships between the characters, which naturally will for the most part, bear, like, funnier bits. That's that's true. This is, like, kind of the first major, like, bit with pretty much everybody. Right. Um, so that's, there's something to be said about that. I think I could have, I could put it, like, anywhere in C tier and be happy. But th there's fine. I like that. Okay. Um, I think this is good. This is the grains of truth, I think. She's just saying nonsense. Hello, Ali. Welcome to the chat. We're ranking Azumanga Dayo. I think I like this bit. I think it's, uh... It's alright. <laughs> Grains of truth. Is this loud enough? I think it might not be. I like this one a lot, actually. I just remember the Chio part, I guess. Is that a different bit or is that this? It's not the grains of truth, it's the truth about grains. Oh yeah, and this! Okay. Dude, this bit's crazy, actually. Dude, this is just more proof that they're literally a pathological liar. What sort of sicko would just fake something like this? I don't know. Dude, this, this one's... I feel like this could be our first S. I think this is... Uh, it makes me so mad. It's definitely... It's definitely A tier. I think... I think... I think there, there's like no weak points in this one. It's like... Three minutes of Osaka saying like nonsense, and then she dreams about taking off Chio's hair. And then... Yeah. 
that's it, pretty much. I think that this is a solid, maybe top A. I think there's just better bits of this. Okay. Uh, we we can my, we could keep S pretty exclusive. I think. Yeah, that's that's my plan. Just try making as exclusive as possible. There's a lot of things we could say are S, but then what's the point of S? Yeah. You know, like I see a lot of tier lists where they'll put like a million things in S, and then they could make like an S plus tier or S plus tier or whatever. It's just mm -hmm. like, what, what's the point? You're just soft. Yeah, th these are like the default tiers. I was like, yeah, yeah, I, I don't think I need to. Like, I could have put, like, a top five above S. That might have been interesting. But maybe S will just be a top five in the end. Yeah. Uh, I think that I think that it is good, though. It is one of the starts of the, uh, the trend of Osaka just saying the same thing over and over again. Yeah. That's, like, something that she'll do a lot. But grains of truth is good. Yeah, what's it's this one's nice because like I don't know, there are some segments we'll get to later that are carried by like one joke. But this one is like solid throughout, which is pretty pretty awesome. But yeah, we'll we'll keep it in high A for now. Maybe I don't know. Unless something like screams S, maybe maybe we will save Maybe we'll end up moving stuff up to S, like, at the end. I don't know. Yeah, I was thinking that that, that could be a, a, a decent thing. Another thing I've seen that I kind of like is either that or uh, when there's multiple people and you get, like, a single god tier each. But I, I kind of like the idea of mm. being exclusive for now. The yeah. god tier being higher than S is, like, the absolute favorite. In the yeah. Movie. Each person only elects one. How many do we have? Like, 130, so... I feel like S could end up being like a top ten. That's not too many, but yeah, yeah we'll we'll get there. Maybe we'll, we'll each pick there. five, and if there's overlap, then there's overlap. Yeah, then someone you can cry about it. Yeah. Okay, episode three then. All right. Correct. So. This one's titled Nyamo, Nyamo, which is the other teacher. So Chio visits the teacher's office. And we get these two interacting, uh, which is kind of the first time they've really done that so far, which is cool. Yeah. And then Chio almost dies, which is always a plus. Awesome. Um, what else? They're talking about each other's pasts. Um. Okay, Yukari walks by saying nonsense. I'm out of tea. <laughs> oh, and that's it. That's all right. I think this is a very mid one, to be honest. Oh yeah. Yeah, like I like like uh, just because it has like one of my like or like my favorite characters or whatnot. It doesn't it, like nothing can really be carried by that. Like the yeah. show utilizes these various characters uh, much better and much more efficiently later on. Is what it, I'm saying. It's it's another like character introduction one, but it's. It's not so like so specific as the bits in the first episode where they're all like focusing exclusively on one character. I like this is this is all the other characters. Like I don't know. I do like exploring that one teacher the, together, is just spitting nonsense like that and making everyone anxious. That is pretty funny, but like mm. uh, I I don't think it's like D tier, but like I don't know. I I just think that you know, like I said. We will see yeah. these characters be utilized better. 
Maybe like here, or is it above I hiccups? Think... No, no, it's not above hiccups. I okay. would say I, I'd be happy anywhere in C tier, personally. Mm. I just don't think it's as bland as the ones in D tier, because yeah. there's some there's some nonsense going on. I think like one part about Azamani and Godayo is that you're slowly slipping into like a fever dream where like things will become more and more surreal and like nonsense. I would say they get really comfortable about that at the end. I feel like, but mm -hmm. like we got to ease into it. I think. I think this is this is a good start, but I definitely don't think it's like the best thing ever. I I do think this one has like definitely has like some sauce that the other character introduction segments don't have. Yeah, it's similar to an Osaka uh, introduction, but I don't think it's to the same level, but in the same vein as it. Mm -hmm. If that makes sense. Yeah, I well, we could with anywhere and see or what. Uh... I feel it like deserve, I feel like it could as, go there. Yeah, to say it's not as good as volleyball or yeah or hiccups. Well, I mean, this is hiccups part one, and this is hiccups part two. I think it. Right. I think it could go in between those. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Factional rivalry. Oh. Okay, so this is more uh, about the teachers. Yeah. Okay. These are, this one's actually like way better. I would yeah, say. I like this one. Team C Slug goes crazy. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> Yeah, this is just like a better version of the last one. Yeah, this is some real shit between the teachers. I had Yo. Yeah, this is awesome. <laughs> this is a power trip. Yeah, this one's... I think it's awesome. This one's... This one's like... All you. Between... I like between the teachers. I, I like... Their work together and I also think... I think it's fucking awesome. Uh, the power trip they have over Chio right there. They're also oh, yeah. just balling, which is sick. I, know, I was gonna say, this is like straight up slam dunk. This is some real shit right there. That's pretty good. Yeah, this might be like, for me. Oh, it doesn't even end it. This right here. Um, yeah, it's about to end here. Yeah. Oh, get owned. Hey, get freaking owned. And that's it. Right. That's yeah, pretty good. That, that might be like a a B a B to A. I could. I mean, I don't. I don't want to have A tier. I mean, if A tier is just full of Osaka like exclusively, that maybe that says something. But I we don't have to make it that exclusive i i think no. i think it could be low a yeah i think that like yeah like i know that they they kind of have similar screen time but like if we're really looking into it they do it could be our, like, our type of like humor but i think generally speaking they do just write osaka in the right moments like, yeah it's but but i i think that this is definitely an a tier moment for me i, I think that like not only does it have some silly shit, like in general, it's just funny, but like, uh, the the slam dunk. It's it's got ball moment. Yeah, balling. It's got balling. It's got funny, and it has like character substance, which isn't always yeah. something we're looking for, but um, it's pretty good. I think a solid A tier from that. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Yukari's here. Okay, so this is the one where she shows up to her apartment yeah. um, and then sleeps in her bed. Which is pretty awesome. It's pretty strange. 
I like that she calls him the bourgeois. I, I, you kind of skipped over that, but... Uh, yeah. <laughs> some good shit. It's pretty good. Okay, the part where she opens up her package. That one makes me wince a little bit because I'm I, I feel bad. But it's a little funny. Oh wait, it's this thing. Yeah. No, this 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 is not bad. She tries to return it because it's not food. Yeah. And, yeah, that there it is. I think that this one is rated personally lower than the following bit. That's my take. Yeah, we could we could watch the next one. We could do two in a row. So this is the one where they go. Oh, where they see the the foreigner. Yeah, that, this one's good. He, he's saying pera pera. Uh, I, I learned recently that pera pera is like it means fluent. Um, like it's there's probably a more formal word for fluent, but um. Like they are, I wasn't sure, like by, by the way this bit is structured, I wasn't sure if Yukari is like actually good at English or if she's just like charismatic, but I think pera pera meaning fluent, um, yeah. kind of indicates that she, she actually is kind of cracked, um, which is cool. This is this actually this joke is awesome. I think he said that PE lasts. teachers are stupid where he comes from too. Yeah, that's <laughs> raw. Sucks. I love that. <laughs> that's a good joke. I like that one. Yeah, definitely better than the last one. Does this fit last uh, till the end of the episode? No, there's one more. But I'm pretty sure it's a restaurant, but I didn't see the. It does include this bit. So this is where Osaka's like, it was nice meeting you. Yeah, <laughs> this is good. <laughs> See, this is why I think this one's actually like amazing. This is a really good one. Yeah, this is good. Yeah. Oh my gosh, and then they cross over, the timelines yeah. converge. That's sick. I wouldn't say this is my, my favorite bit, but I, I do like this one. It's very well crafted. I think they could be a song that that's just kind of for me. I know that I have a bias. Yeah. I like I would... the foreigner part. I like that it's so long like I'm glad to meet you. Yeah. Like that's good. I don't think it's like S tier, but I think it's pretty good. I think we could what do you think about like high B for that one and then maybe like C for the one where she comes over? Uh, I totally forgot about the other one. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, that one could be C. It could be even low C. I don't. Yeah, I think like low C. But There's, I really like D is looking a little sparse. We could put more in D, but it's probably not quite that bad. I, I yeah, I don't think it's that bad. I think that it's I don't know. I, I think that I think low C, just just edging off of D, but not, yeah. not actually D for sure. I think that the that following bit though, I think I would put it in A, but B is just fine. I would say it's probably better than uh yeah, you have it better than volleyball. It's definitely mm -hmm. probably better than the volleyball in my opinion. I would say it's it's not better than anything we already have in A. Yeah, I would I, say it's close to basketball, but I I I don't know. Yeah. The I think problem, I'll leave it here like, for now, just top of B. 
it is pretty consistently good. There's not really that's that true drop offs. Like there isn't really any midpoints. It's just kind of like nuts to buzz action. I would say. Yeah. And then yeah, it ends. It just ends right there. So it's like it's yeah, two pretty solid jokes there. And then I cross over. How well and crossover event. That's crazy. Yeah, we could move that one up later. I think I'll leave it there for now though. Yeah. And then and then they get to the bar. Um Let's see. I was not being as good. Yeah, this one's not just, super memorable. It's just, it's just chopstick moment, you know. I remember, I remember this bit. Like this, this clip repeats at least twice, which is funny. I like when they reuse the same the same animation uh, a couple of times as a joke I like drinking yeah and then they go home yeah that one's not great I would put that one lower than the initial about it feels kind of like a nothing burger. Could we do like? I put it in D. If D. You D. I'll just put it on say I think it. I think it could be in D. Yeah, I think I agree with that. Like, is it better or worse than the introductions for the other, these two we have? I think it's better than Tomo. <laughs> okay. But. That's just me talking. What, what, yeah. What, what um, there's something. There's actually substance in it. I, the the Tomo introduction is like nothing. Actually, like pure nothing burger. Mm. I don't know. Hmm. I might rate it lower, just because, like, there's, I don't know, there's something to be said about these two, like, it, they're nice to have, but this one, it's like, um, I don't know, they've kind of played out the bit between the two teachers for this whole episode, and it's been good, and then, like, by the end, it kind of loses some steam. I can yeah. agree with that. I think another large portion of it is, like, I don't know. They don't really have the excuse of being bad. If like like you said, they've kind of like developed up to this point. Yeah. And uh, those other two clips, if they're even remotely like better, that's saying something. Given that they are coming from scratch, mm -hmm. you know, like uh, they had so much substance to work with, and I think it dropped off there at the end. I mean, yeah, there wasn't I, I w really anything going on. Yeah, I think I'll leave it there. I don't I don't think that's the worst one we'll see. No, I don't think that either. I I just think that it's it's I mean like it is a little disappointing given how good the rest of the episode is. Mm -hmm. yeah, what does that does that episode have say? balling and yeah, yeah, it has that's a banger. That's a good one. It does yeah, not like, say top rated. I know. That's why I said I don't know if I completely agree with all of them. I think that that is a really good episode. They get better, but I think that yeah. that one's a decent one. Yeah. Okay. Episode four. Pool, pool, pool. Oh, this one. Okay. Okay, so the first one is where we introduce this guy. Fuck that guy. 
I don't know. I feel like... Go on. Say it. You like him? I don't like him. I mean, he's not meant to be liked. I think yeah. I think every anime has, like, something where you're like, eh, about it. If you're, like, trying to recommend it to other people. And this guy is that. This guy probably loves Neon Genesis Evangelion. I think he's I think he's executed well. Like <laughs> yeah, because, yeah. I think I think he he does his job very well. Like this that's pretty funny. Yeah, I bet you he loves Evangelion. I don't know, that that's a little funny. Yeah. And then all the boys are, are moved. And... People are being... Uncomfortable. And then... They get changed. And they look at each other's chests. I think that's it. King Kong, King Kong, King Kong, King Kong, King Kong, Kong! This fucking guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all he agrees. Yeah. He would love even Kelly. <laughs> I mm. think that that bit is, uh, I don't know. I, okay, here's, here's my thoughts out loud. Number one, yeah, they introduced the Evangelion guy. All right, that's that's a little silly. Mm -hmm. I, I like the part where the boys are moved. That is pretty funny. The, like, talking about each other's chests is, like, all right. I don't think it's, like, a big part of it. I understand the point because they're, like, I don't know, they're growing up. I I, yeah, I, like, I don't love that joke, especially because it know. happens, like, multiple it's... times in the series. That's why I'm like, I don't really like it. I understand maybe what they're going from, but also like the era of anime. Yeah. This is the, like the least tasteful part of that part of anime. Mm -hmm. I'd say for that, it it deserves a bit of a penalty. Um, yeah. I, I don't know. This, that I, honestly, I would... a lot of that part reminds mm -hmm. me of this, of this teacher, like, which is why I don't like him so much. Because I think his whole character is kind of revolving around that portion of, uh, the anime culture at the time. I don't really like that, but... Yeah, it's not... I don't know. There, There's there's some funny bits in here, but I'm not... I think, like, even, like, Kimura... Like, he has better moments than this, probably. Um, yeah. Like, I think, for example, like, the next one um, is probably better than this. I would put this in D somewhere. Maybe, like, high D, though. Or maybe not. I think it's definitely better than... Well, is it better than the last one at the bar? Because I, I think there's some funny funny parts to this one. Yeah. Um, It's dragged down by a couple of things pretty substantially. I think I we could I, I I think we could put it in high D just because like like uh this this first bit where they're like why did you become a teacher and then he says because I like high school girls I think that's like that's like actually one of the Azumanga memes that have like made it outside like in into the world of memes like People have seen this clip without watching the show. Yeah. And that's that's pretty cool. I think stuff like that gets a couple extra points. I would agree. It's hard to rate it. I think that you're probably cooking with uh, high D. I've cut it personally in mid D, but that's just from my point of view as like what I'm looking for in the show, where I think it's more funny. Yeah. Oh, that's that's a tough one. Cause 
Like, I can definitely put it down here. Yeah, he'll have better moments. Uh, maybe I'll put it there. Um, it's one of those cases where, like, the joke is, like, all right, but then the rest of the part is, like, not as, like, not nearly as good. It's, like, yeah, it's got the, uh, it's got, like, the volleyball syndrome, but, like, mm -hmm. in a much worse way. Yeah, that's that's not a great one. We'll we'll leave it kind of mid D then. Um, okay. Next one. They're at the pool, and then he sneaks in. I think this one is probably better already. Is there like, shouldn't you be teaching a class? It's like, no. Yeah. I've got a sub or whatever. An Osaka moment. Oh, what? Oh, what the freak? I just dropped some frames. Hopefully we're still good. Oh, and that's, I guess that's the whole bit. Um, I would say this one's also a bit lower. Yeah, it's it's not great. I would definitely put it above the last one, I think. My opinion is that like you know, I get the joke that of like Kimura's character, but it works a lot better when he's not the star of the joke, like or like mm. the the center hold. What what's good is when they do like something and it's funny and there's like a whole bit of like him being uh, of like them doing something funny and awesome, and then he pops in, and then yeah, does some weird shit, and then like it cuts back to them. That's better in my opinion. I think I, that think I agree with that. Yeah, I would still I would put this maybe this goes in the high D spot that I was thinking about putting the other one in. I'd say that yeah. Um. Again, like, th this other one became, like, an actual meme. Right. But I, I, a, I do think this one's a little better. It's down by the rest of the chapter. Yeah. Like, of the bit. Maybe goes on for a little long. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe they should be closer together. It's not, like substantially better yeah okay but by this point in the episode i think he's gone the background i think i think he's still around oh yeah he is still around <laughs> but this is like the better yeah this execution. he's not the center of attention anymore like that that was good no, it's just funny in the background this is... I like this, this bit. the peak of the show. Yeah, this is probably the peak of the episode. I'm actually... No, I, I might just go down Oh yeah, dead bodies float, so she tries to be dead, and then float, and then sinks anyways. And then she shows up. Chio dies. 
ったんですかっていうかあんたも見つかったなんで持ってるのよニャモの人先輩とデートするときに一曲がついてた Oh, and then Osaka smiles at dead Chia. That's raw. No, that's it. Yeah, that's definitely... Definitely a tier higher, at least. Yeah. I might put that in, like, low B. Let's see, what is it? What would we be saying is better than? Uh... Maybe that's just me looking at C tier and... Thinking we have a lot of stuff in C tier already. Yeah. Uh, I would say I agree, but the thing is, is that the following bit, I would definitely say is better. And I think, I don't know if it's A tier. Mm, oh, really? I. This. I mean, it's the race part, right? Yeah, this is like where they race. And she. Like Yukari tries to cheat or whatever. I I don't love this one. Yeah, I don't know about this one. I feel like I yeah. could put that one in C tier. I don't, I, I don't know. That's kind of like all it is. I remember that one being, I remember that one being a little bit more awesome. I would mm. have to agree with you. Yeah, I, I don't think there's anything else that happens in this one. Um, but we could put it up higher, maybe like. There. I thought it had a little more substance. I would be comfortable putting it lower. Uh, maybe I'm thinking about the other, like the foot race, isn't that? They have a foot race sometimes. Yeah, yeah, they have. They have other yeah, foot races. competitions. They have sort of like PE shit, yeah. Yeah, they they've got like like, I mean the show takes place over three years so they have like three different sports fests i don't know of like the of the segments where they're they're competing like the two teachers i feel like this one is probably on the lower end not too much happens i might put it i'm gonna put it there try to Keep going here. I don't, I don't know what happens here. That's kind of funny. Making fun of Chio. There's better moments than that. Yeah. Oh, and then they see Kimura, like, doing good deeds outside of school. And they're like, what the freak? Which I think that's a, that's a good bit. I think he was. I think here they they catch him down, uh, donating like ten thousand yen to a charity. Yeah. Where's where does he have that money? You know, that's crazy. True. Ah, Kimi Tachika. Kimura Sensei, it's not the. Kyoshi nara tozen no koto da yo. Sensei, Ah, 
felt like the, the pro Kimura uh, propaganda. Yeah, there's. Yeah, maybe maybe uh, they shouldn't be giving him so much credit. No. But then they but then it turns around right there. Yeah. I think I I like that one. Maybe like a C tier. I think it, I think it's above D, definitely. I think it could be better than Home Invasion. Like, but but I like I like yeah. Dead Osaka and Shio, so yeah, I think I think it's probably right there is solid for me personally. Well, Dead Osaka and Shio we put in B tier. This this oh. one's the competition one. I'd put it higher than that. Yeah, that's that's a good spot. Okay. Episode five. Episode five. We're getting there. Summer right. break. Um, is this the first time we've, like, besides the first episode? Yeah, it takes a while for them to come back to this. Yeah, I I do think this is a this is a good bit. Um, I prefer when it's not the entire segment. Like I said, I think it ages like a fine wine. Yeah. That time is like, right. Yeah, and I guess that's it's not the whole bit because it completely switches here. She's trying to get her to be productive over summer. Uh. And then we come back to this. Maybe we don't. She goes to the school pool. It's gotta like end right around here. This one's alright. I don't know. I don't think there's much to say about that one. What do you think? I think it's kind of mid. Yeah. Uh, I think it's like got a lot going on in it, but I think you know, I'm more of a fan of developed joke than um Would you put it in D tier? Uh, no, because I think it's better than home invasion. I think home invasion is kinda Really? Alright. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, like, hmm. it, they're they're kind of similar. Uh, it's just like the roles are flipped, right? The cat thing is, the cat thing is like, no, I don't like that part so much. Yeah, I think that like, like the cat bit for me doesn't really add or subtract any points in this case. I'm I'm mostly then, thinking about the rest of it. And then like the procrastination over summer break is like all right. I I think this one's worse than Home Invasion. Cuz I I like that telling it back up again. It's I like that she falls asleep in her bed. I think that's funny. Astounded by the weird pillow. Oh, are we back? Is the stream freaking out? Are you streaming your window or I think or your monitor? Oh, we're we're chilling. I'm just curious. Um, I'm streaming the window. Actually, no, I think I'm streaming the monitor. Let's say if you're not streaming the monitor, you could policy violation. Oh no! Are they gonna? Okay, we'll try. We'll try and be a little more careful about uh, hitting play on this. I suppose this is this is a bit of a gray area. 
going over Azumanga Dio, but it's already on YouTube, uh, unofficially. So, I don't know. I feel like they should go after the dealer. Not me. That's usually how these things work, I would think. But we'll be, we'll be a little more careful there. Um, oh my god, now I'm dropping frames too. Well, oh, it's it's because it is because this window reloaded ads that I've conveniently tried to crop out on my end. We're good. We're good. Anyways, this next bit, um, I think this is like S tier. <laughs> This is good. This is good. I said I wasn't gonna play it, but like this one, this one is peak. It's funny because they do it twice. It, it's a good bit, and they do it twice. So like we could we could just not put anything in S yet. But I think this one is like easy top five for me. It's pretty good. Um Where does it end? Honestly, like I think all these summer break episodes are are awesome. Let's see. Um, we're on episode five. Uh, I guess. I think. Like this, this first bit is good, and I, I guess it continues on. We we get another. Uh, cat bit. Which is fine, it's not very intrusive because it's just like five seconds. Um, and then they show up to Chio's house and it's a mansion. Um, I think they're about to go to her beach house. And we get this. That's good. And then, let's see, we get this bit again, a third time. That's good. Oh, I guess, I guess this is the new chapter. Uh, Solid. I, I like that one a lot. Like this, this bit here is, has got to be like one of my favorite bits in the whole show. Um, is it the best on the board yet, though? Maybe not. Because this, this one, yeah, gr Grains of Truth followed up by, by dreaming about Chio's hair falling off is like one of those ones where it's good throughout. This one, this one's like really strong at the start and then kind of falls off a little bit towards the end. Um, so maybe maybe I'd put it here for now. I would I would agree with that. Okay, and then the next bit. Um. So the two teachers are gonna drive them out to the beach, and then. And then, like, one car is bigger, and she's like, why don't we go in the bigger car? Oh, this one's good. And she says, the fewer dead, the better, right? Because Kari's bad at driving. Yeah. That's, that's solid already. That, that's good. I, I like those. Um, oh, my God. Wait, this is awesome. 
And they stare at each other's chests again. Which is whatever. But then this is also one of the best bits in the show. Yeah. Another case of Osaka just saying things. This is good. I think this is an easy A tier as well. That paired with the uh, the car thing is awesome. Yeah. Don't they show the cars like beat the shit out like or my my cabin? Um, my screenshot shows. Yeah, they're like traumatized, which comes back later in the series, which is awesome. That's really good. Got similar vibe to Grains of Truth with the hemorrhoids thing. It's got this one's got like variety, like it, it's got a couple of different bits that are like all really good. I would um, say that this might be better than Grains of Truth. Personally. Yeah, I I think it could be. Yeah, because like the the hemorrhoids bit where that's that's just. It's basically grains of truth again. Um, so if if we put those on equal footing, then it's like dreaming about Chio's hair falling off versus the cars. And the cars might be better. Ah, they're they're pretty they're pretty similar. We might end up like moving all three of these up to S tier by the end. Honestly. Yeah. Okay, next one. Um, they're telling scary stories. Um, this is funny because Osaka says she kills everyone. And it's it's a red flag. That's pretty good. Oh my god. And it's this one too. She tries to blow up Chio. Which is a red flag after the whole. Yeah. Um, that's pretty good. I think that's also A tier. Do you think that's better or worse than the previous bit? Um, I think worse. Probably worse than Grains of Truth as well. Um, I do like the firework thing, and the murder thing is good, but yeah, I would have to agree. All, I, all three of those are like duos. Like, they're both like two good bits tied yeah. together. Like, these these two right here are on like super equal footing on my in my mind. This one's probably a little bit lower. Um, it's pretty similar, though. It's, I, it's pretty similar. I don't know. I... I like this bit better, but the whole segment is not as good as this one is, because this this has got a, like a couple of good bits yeah. in it. The next section, trying to go a little bit faster for the sake of time and also not getting copyright striked. Um, Chio's traumatized. That's funny. I like it when eyes are drawn like this. They do this in Bochi the Rock a lot, and it's funny. That's funny. This is like this is like this is just like cooling down afterwards. Yeah. 
Um, they check back in with the teacher. I'd give this like a, a mint to low B tier. I think I agree with that. I think it can be like low B. Someone said they're fucking Formula One outside. That was insane. Yeah, I heard that. Okay. Next episode is the Sports Festival 1. Oh, yeah. I just put it, like, at the bottom of B. I think that's a good place. Yeah, that's good. We don't really have to super strictly order all of these. Um... But I, we have, that's what we've. So let's see here. I guess stream can't really see when I'm scrolling, like at the start of the episode. Um. I don't know. The first five minutes of this episode is like introducing that there is going to be a sports festival and that it's a competition um i don't think anything happens i don't think anything interesting happens here except um i think this is funny <laughs> this is another one that i've seen as a meme um, where she like flips her shoe up and then they watch it fall down and then it's an explosion and I'm reminded of that and that's funny but I think that's the highlight of the segment which is why it's the screenshot here I don't know I think this one's mostly set up deserves D tier yeah like, you think in low D tier? Uh, Ollie's even seen this probably. bit. I mean, there's something there's to be said about joke. that. Yeah, there's only one joke. I mean, there there might be more if I looked a little more closely. But it's this is this is I mean, it's not really lore, but it's it's just like exposition. I think I think I'm gonna be honest like uh, I, I think a lot of this this episode is not that good <laughs> Personally. huh let's see I what do, what do people think about this one six yeah it's in the sevens rather than the eights according to the people I, I like the sports fest episodes, but yeah, I think some are better than others. I feel like, yeah, this one, I, I guess it's similar to the, the Kimura introduction where it's like not great, except um, gets a few points for becoming a meme. Yeah. We'll just leave it there. I don't know, there's just like not a whole lot going on. Yeah, it's not much to that one. Uh, here, Kimura comes back. That's funny. And Osaka can't stretch. And then, uh, Yukari tries to feed like the star student of another class, like right before the race, trying to sabotage. And then Chio starts crying because she's going to hold everyone back. So true. She is going to hold everyone back. And that's it. That's what I, I don't know. 
like uh, my my feelings are consistent across this episode. Yeah, I think there's more to this one than the last bit, so maybe like a high D. But yeah, that's that's not great. They're still, I think, warming up. Okay, th this bit's good. Skipping ahead a little bit. The three-legged race. That's funny. Them eating shit. Well, that it happens twice. Yeah. It pro it might even happen more than twice. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, this is like the volleyball <laughs> joke. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Um, definitely just like a worse version of the volleyball bit. They're chanting OS during tug of war. She's like, what even is that? That's, that's relatable. Um, then that that bit probably like ends right around here. It's kind of hard to find exactly where it is. <laughs> yeah, my my screenshot for this one is just them lying flat. I think I think that goes in like C tier. Either better or worse than home invasion. I think better. Maybe like here. Where is uh? Where um, is volleyball? Volleyball we put in B tier up here. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, it's substantially better, I think. Yeah. Um. I would agree. Yeah, this one. This one's kind of just got the. It's got like a couple of things going for it, but it's nothing crazy. Okay, next one. Chio. Cheerleading. I think we get another Osaka moment here. That's good. And then um, then it's the relay race. And that's it. Mm. Um, yeah, I guess this is where they win. So th there's the lore for the episode. Eh. Lore. I feel like is this better or worse than the last one? I think it's worse. They're kind of they're kind of similar. Maybe maybe like there. Like a low C again. I don't think it's quite D tier. Okay, and then they they dance. This is a pretty good bit. This character, which hasn't shown up too much, she's like, she she likes her, so she's happy to dance with her. And then, and then next, they swap partners, and she dances with Kimura, and she says the same thing, but in a different way, and the delivery is different. And this bit goes on for like two minutes. That's pretty good. And then she gets her money from winning because they bet on it. And the students are like, where's our where's our juice? You promised to buy us juice. And then she runs away. And that's the end of the episode. 
definitely going to leave this one to you. To, right? I, I don't like this episode like at all. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, don't know. I think this is better than the last segment. I think I think the highlight of this episode's probably the three legged race. I won't I won't put too much thought into that there. It's it's low C. Yeah, that's not a great one. I feel like I remember liking the sports fest ones more. Maybe the other ones are better. Maybe it's a culture fest for the next episode. Here they're just like getting ideas um i think th this is another one where like nothing is happening it's just like exposition for the rest of the episode i think that's a easy d like similar to the last episode not much is happening what a okay yeah People don't love this one either. Um, Chio's dog gets introduced. I think the dog's good. Dog. Oh, and then she she rides the dog, which is sick. That's a good dog. No, that, that's it for that one. So again, not much is happening there, but that's, that's probably like bottom of C. I would say so. I like the dog. That's about it. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to go a little faster because we're not even close to halfway done yet. Um, all right, and then the festival actually starts. She gets in the cat suit and starts running around for no reason. Little freak. Yeah, I don't think Tomo's that funny. Um, What's he saying? Yeah, that's not a great Kimura bit either. Uh, I don't know where this one ends. It's probably like right around here. I don't. I don't think I like that one. I would agree. I I think that we're going to be, I don't know, from like this point, I feel like there's a lot of like mid shit that's about to, about to drop personally. Yeah, I don't, I, I'm not a fan of this episode. I think this, this one might be like worse than the exposition segment at the start of the episode, just because like, I think I actively like don't like the jokes that go on here very much. Like, I get that they're trying to do like the the culture fair like uh like trope. I don't know with these like slice of life anime. I just don't think they do it very well. I don't know. Yeah, it's not super strong. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm putting this one like all the way. This could be the worst one yet, honestly. <laughs> Yeah, it's I, bad. I don't like this one. Tomo's not funny. Um, yeah. I don't know. Tom Tomo's better when Yomi's keeping her in check. Uh, and that's not happening here. And then Kimura's in the cat suit. Uh, yeah, I don't know. 
This one's also forgettable. I'll probably put it above because it gets points for Osaka existing. And then the last one, this happens like a few times in the series where it's just like a montage of them like walking into the sunset and being happy. Which is which is all right. I guess there's nothing wrong with that. But there's not much happening of substance. I think this is this is like one of the worst sunset marches in the show though to be honest like mm. well those are good when like the rest of the episode is good <laughs> yeah i don't know oh my god three back to back at the bottom of the tier list i like i said i think the last two episodes personally i know you don't mind the sports one as much but i don't like yeah i don't uh, this is probably the worst episode yet this one's just kind of a slog to get through i think yeah, we can we can move on. Cause episode eight, this one's awesome. This one is okay. Not our first top rated according to IMDb, but one of them. So this this is the one where it's like, I need to introduce someone to Azumanga Dio. I I pull up this one. That one's this one's pretty good. Cause this. This is the one where they're all just dreaming. So you've got, this is Osaka's dream where Chio can fly. Osaka dreams of Chio a lot. Yeah. She decides that the pigtails are controlling her. So she takes them off and it actually kills her. Um, and it's good that that takes like 10 seconds. That's funny. I don't really get this, but this is funny. You get to see the cat. Yep. Classic cat. And then she flies away because she is overcome with guilt. That's That's a banger. That's like an easy A tier. That's a classic. But where in A tier, you think? Uh, it could be at the bottom of A tier, personally. Yeah. I, I think it's, that, uh, it's a classic. It's not like... I guess it's not like mind-blowing. Yeah, I like the... I like balling more. <laughs> I like balling. I feel like it, it could go here. Like above oh. the one where Osaka's first introduced. I don't know. This it's such a classic. It is a classic. Like I think if you, like showing someone just this like five minute segment, like that is that is the essence of Azumanga Dayo right there. Like that's good stuff. Um. Yeah, maybe not peak I, i'm gonna i'm gonna leave it there okay um okay the next one is tomo's dream and she is she's just less funny than the other characters you hate her yeah <laughs> <laughs> she dreams about being better than chio which could never happen i think that that's awesome Okay, this is funny. When I watched this with Corbin, he was he was losing it. Yeah, see, I, I, I think that you don't give her enough credit. <laughs> yeah, this is this isn't bad. I I don't really like the first half of this one. Where she's smarter than Chio. That's funny. Well, no, before that, it's just like her being like a superhero. This is eh, whatever. That's just yeah. That's just her character. Though. You can't. Yeah, that's. I mean, I, I know that that doesn't that doesn't give an excuse because like if they're not funny, then it's not funny, and that's kind of like what we're mostly basing this shit off of. But I'd say I'd say uh, uh, to balance your very uncharitable take on it, I would I would 
I would probably, I think it's probably C or B. I wouldn't say it's light D. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I I was gonna put it in low B. I think, or maybe maybe like, like high C. No, I like I like low B. Okay. Simply because it it's a little silly. Yeah. I think it's I think it's probably the weakest point in this episode, but this is also like the best one of the best episodes. I like it. Um I think that <sighs> it's simply no hold on, hold on. Mm. The she that imagine like I mean this character isn't very smart, they're like just a fucking crazy maniac, but like I don't know. Dreaming about being smarter than Chio just for the sake of making them feel embarrassed alone is really funny. And then also, uh, I don't know. Uh, that, that part's that's just that's the best part. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Mm. Hold on one second. Let me rewind on my end. I think. Yeah, like, like better like next next time, idiot. And then going back to fucking what the heck is classic. I don't know if it can be better than this, like Osaka one Water? here. Um, I think that's what this one was. Yeah. Hmm. I don't. I don't think it could be better than that. Cause I don't know. I do I think. think I do think Tomo's here. still like better when she's interacting with other characters, and she isn't doing much of that. There's nothing to keep her in check. Do you think that Flutter should be in C tier still? Uh, maybe, we, yeah, maybe we could just move both up to B. Maybe that's better. I, I'm just curious. We we compare it as like the threshold between B and C. Yeah. And I wonder if that's either like it could be that it's just a really good top C pick. What was the reason why we put it in C? Is it just the Flutter's part? Is that? I think I think this one was. I mean, this one's like all centered around Osaka. It's got a bunch of Osaka bits, but it was like one of the first Osaka bits. So it's it was like, and eh, there's better stuff coming. But maybe they should both be in B. I like this better, I think. Okay. Yeah, I, I would agree. Okay. Um, Sakaki's dream. Okay, this goes hard. Yeah, I was gonna. I was actually waiting for this. Sucker Key Street was actually really good. She she I wants to have a cat, so she. It's this cat. She gets too, one. Though. It's this cat. It's Chio's dad. Yeah, I've. I've actually been waiting for this. This is really good. Yeah. <laughs> I think. Oh yeah, this is an easy A. Um, this one's like, she's tripping. Yeah. This one's really good. That's most, that's, that's awesome. And then he, then he says, bye. Um, go find a real cat. I'm, I'm pretty sure this is, yeah, this is a new bit here. That's, that's A tier. Like, not much is happening there, but it's a good bit. Yeah. I might, I might put that low A just because this next one um, is kind of a continuation. Uh, this one is also a contender for my favorite bit. It's where she goes to Chio's house in the dream. And there's just a penguin for no reason. And then he comes back. Yeah, this this is really good. I like this one. <laughs> a real image of a tomato. That's some good dialogue there. Yeah, 
And then... Yeah, he's offended by being called a fake cat. Yeah, I've always seen this cat guy too. Yeah, this is... This is awesome. This is probably like on the same, like on par with the, the last one, to be honest. You think so? I, I think this one's better. You think it's better? Yeah, I'm... I would... I would be happy putting this one straight in S tier. Wow. <laughs> this one's got yeah, everything. It's, it's pretty good. I like that this guy's like actually invading everyone's dreams by this point. Oh, the cat. I like this. This is like the most like tripping balls bit in the show, basically. I like the tripping balls bits. Very good. Was the last one better or worse than Balling? Because maybe we could move that one up Ooh, too. That one's better than Balling, one hundred percent. Okay. I would so say then... that one's even better than the other one. I would say it's. I think it's better than Murder Osaka. Mm. Personally, I really. Like oh it. yeah, like here. At least. Hmm. I think I could put it here. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave this guy up in S though, because I I don't think I don't see anything knocking that one down. That that's just like that that's peak. That is peak. That's peak. Yeah. And the next one's okay. Um, where they're like a, a gang and then Sakaki comes to save her. She wakes up. And then they all go to a shrine because it's New Year's. And they all say they all dreamed about Chio. And none of their dreams were favorable towards Chio. So it's a little awkward moment. That's awkward. And that's about it. It's just like the conclusion to this episode. Um, I'd probably put it on the same level as the Tomo bit. Like her dream. Yeah. Maybe... Just below it. I think it's alright. I think you're cooking. Okay, episode nine. So this is a Sakaki episode. Um, what's going on here? She tries to take pictures of a cat and it doesn't work. And she dies. She finds someone in the cat suit, and it turns out to be Chio. That's so awkward. I think this one's pretty forgettable. Oh, there's nothing wrong with it. A perfect C. Yeah. Maybe like lower C. Hmm. Maybe right there. Won't think about that one too hard. What else is happening here? I think they gaslit Chio into thinking Sakaki stole her, her height. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. This one's probably a little worse. It is. Oh god, it is. Yeah, not, not much is happening there. 
We'll put that one. Th these two introductions are like a pretty big threshold in my mind right now. I might put it there. Um, hold on. Okay. Okay, moving on. Uh, Sakaki goes outside. She's got like the uh, the the Noah Xenoblade jacket on. Oh, that's classic. That's classic. Uh, she plays a, a crane game. And I think that's about it. Yeah, the, my crane game is the screenshot for this segment, so you, you can tell nothing it's pretty else deep here. interesting happened. Maybe like there. It's nice to see her get more screen time, but there's there's not much happening. I wish they were better. <laughs> yeah, she's she's not ever trying to be that funny. She's got like one joke. Um okay, then they go to Chio's house. Um Osaka probably says something unhinged here. And they start talking about baseball for some reason. I, this is like... Out of character. Um, oh, and then they... This is... That's funny. This bit gets points for that. The cat shows up again. It's not that many points, I'll be honest. Yeah, it's still D tier. <laughs> it's still D tier, I think. Probably. The cat's just really fucking weird, so. Like... Down there. Then they leave. I think this is another one of those segments where they walk into the sunset and don't really say anything. Um, this one looks more like Evangelion. Uh, the stupid cat thing again. Yeah, I, I, I think I agree with you that those, like these ending sequences, are better when the the rest of the episode is better but this this episode was kind of lacking so it doesn't feel earned oh yeah i think i'm gonna put it worse than the other one because this one they were like parading behind the the one in the cat suit which was a little funny mm. this one they're just hanging out okay we're schmoving we're schmoving yeah we're already on episode 10 we're doing good um, so this is their second year students. They're like, oh man, we're not going to be in the same class again. And then, uh, I think the teacher butts in and says, actually, yeah, I got you guys put in the same class again. This is a pretty mundane scene, but I think it's executed well. I like how she's she's ducking in from both sides of the classroom. I think that's funny. Um, and then she's hoping she's in the same class as Sakaki. He shows up. And that's it. I think that one is better than D tier, but not by much.
Not by much. I'm gonna be honest. Like I'm saying, I, I think that there's like a little lull still. In my in my humble opinion. Uh, I think the dream episode is fucking awesome. But oh wow, these three like all in a row are top rated. I don't know about that. Yeah, I, I, I that. think the last one was like not awesome. Maybe our standards are too high. Look at look at how nah, barren A and B that's is. That's why. Listen, that's why they got us to do the tier list to make the. That's kind of true. You know. I do think, like uh, across the board, I do think this show is better in the later episodes. That's what I'm saying. Like they they have a bit of a lull period right now, and then things are gonna get awesome. Mm-hmm. So that I mean, I like, we're the only ones capable of. Um, properly doing this objective tier list. Oh yeah, people have way too low of standards. Okay, next bit. Osaka's like, my name's not on the board, um, but it actually is because it's written as Osaka instead of her actual name, and she just didn't notice. Yeah, which is awesome. I like this character. She's funny. She doesn't get a whole lot of screen time. This this one's all right. I don't know. This one might be like high D. There's not much happening there. Yeah. Either. Um. They're just. I don't know. They're pushing the series forward because they have to have some sense of time passing. I could put this this bit's funny. <laughs> yeah, for that I'll I'll put it up here. It's not D tier. There's there's good stuff in there. Um So I, I guess at this point they're introducing this character a little more because she wasn't in the same class yeah. in the previous year. Uh, she's all right. She likes sports. That's her character. She's kind of like Tomo. Yeah. A little less unhinged. Yeah, just sports Tomo. Yeah, and she doesn't she doesn't get the cat bit. Um eh. All right. <laughs> it's all right. Yeah. yeah. Not much to say We're about that one. Just going through the the harsh period. It's all right. This is this is no like this, this is a lore episode. This is what we call a lore episode. That we do. Um, this one's funny. This this one's probably above D tier. This is Chio gets a big head because she's a second year student now. I think that's about it. Yeah. What else? I think the rest of it is kind of forgettable. Probably like low C. Yeah. I think it's funny that she thinks she's better than everyone else, which just plays into what I said before. That's true. This is, this is only the start where she's starting to taste power. I can't stand it. Maybe, I mean, these, these two here... We're also from this episode. Do you think it's around there? Or is it lower or is it higher? Uh, I think the only funny thing is her, like, that, literally that exchange in the stairs. Yeah. Yeah. 
I think so too. And then what's next? I guess, I don't know. There's like a box, a box of cats. This is like one I, I don't remember at all. Um, she tries to hold a cat and it like runs away or something. Eh. Cause like I, I had to go through the whole series and like screenshot everything again. And yeah, I was like, I, I did not remember this one. So I'm going to put it pretty low actually, maybe down here. Oops. Kagura and Sakaki. Um, what's going on here? She tries to talk to a foreigner. That's okay. Um, this bit's this bit's funny. I, I this one's a little memorable. I, I remember this one. I'm talking about what IT stands for, and none of them know. And then Chio comes up, and she's like, "Um, actually." And I think that's about it. I could put that one... Mm, I think this one's also definitely a C tier. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel like it could go higher. But these these two are alright. I think anything below these two, like like these here, are teetering on D tier to me. This one, this one's fine. Maybe we'll put it there. I think by the end of this tier list, we're not going to be stressing about order as much, just because yeah. there's so many. Okay, next one, they've got like a rivalry between the two characters that are athletic. Um, Chio dies. I think that's, that's all that happens here. Think that one's all right. What did I? This is episode eleven. I, I assume that's this one still. I just picked a weird screenshot for it. This one's fine. Probably worse than the last one. Probably there. You didn't have to hit him. Okay. I think the the main main part of this bit is another cat encounter. Probably one of the better ones. Yeah, I was gonna say it's much better. Better. Yeah. There's stuff happening. Oh. I, I was fearing for their life there for a second. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's some lore. That's good.
I think that's that's the main thing that happens. I I, I will put that. Uh, I feel like it's still in C. I, I feel like we haven't broken past C yet. No. But it's definitely higher. Maybe like there. Um. Then this next one, she dreams about having a bunch of cats. And then, and then she gets a big head because she dreamt about cats being friendly to her. So then she goes outside she and get and gets humbled. And that's it. That's okay. I think as a follow up to the last one, that's that's pretty solid. Yeah, I might put them on equal footing though. What do you think? I think the last one's a little bit better, personally. Yeah. Maybe like... There? Yeah, that's a good spot. Okay. And then... I'm just really excited for when it gets uh, cracked again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we've... What's coming up here? I, I I like this one. Uh, we're we're coming up on on some stuff. Thank God. De definitely <laughs> a low part. I don't know. I I like the Sakaki moments, but like on a tier list, they're they're not going to rate very high. No. Um. I don't know. Not much. This is just more of the same, really. She's trying to hide her her love of cat, and that's it. We'll probably put that one down at like high D, maybe there. Let's let's keep going here. Oh, th this one's well. I like Chio. This is Chio Chan's Day. That's this the name of this episode. So it's like it's it's kind of a unique one because it's narrated. It's just narrated by Chio. Um She runs into some of her old classmates. Um and she walks to school with Sakaki. I think this is a lore heavy bit once again. Whatever that means. Uh, there's probably better parts to this episode. But I think there's not really anything wrong with that. I, I probably wouldn't put that all the way down at D. What else? Um... Tomo gets humbled. That's good. I, I like that character when they're interacting. Yeah. I think uh, this this bit's funny. I think they're talking about how their teacher's late and they're like she's probably out like buying a video game or something and then she comes in talking about how she was out buying a video game. Um I don't know. Uh, it's like compared to the funnies, bro. Yeah, it's 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 we're still we still haven't <laughs> landed in B tier, I think. Uh, 
Yeah, I don't know. I think this one's probably better than the last one. I might put it there. It's like a mid C. I guess I don't know. I I don't I don't dislike this episode, but there aren't like any crazy awesome bits. Um, it was, uh, Chio isn't a big jokester. She's usually the punching bag. I, I, I think this part's funny. Um, Osaka's like, I could jump off this building and fly. That's... And then Chio's like, you shouldn't say stuff like that. <laughs> I think this is a good bit. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. Uh, what else is going on here? This is pro this is probably in the next chapter here. Or thereabouts. Yeah. That's pro that, that, that was better than that's like the best this episode has been so far. Maybe like high C. Saying. I think uh, I think you're on to something there. I think high C. I think uh, that's been like the the light at the end of the tunnel for me a little bit. Mm -hmm. It's it's kind of a classic. I don't know. There, there's not too much happening, but they're they're all together, and you need you need the segments like that where they're all together, just hanging out. Oh, I just I for like the vibes. The, I like the jumping off the build. build uh, sorry, the building bit. Mm -hmm. Not like low B though, right? No, I don't think it scratches B quite yet. Okay. I think it needs to be a little bit better first. Okay, we've got a swimming bit, but focused on Chio. I think it is not as good as not as good as like this swimming bit probably it's probably C again um, <laughs> it sounds so sad yeah I I feel like we're being so mean no we're not it's just like come on the beginning like, there's some really good bangers like we don't hate this show it's a it's a good show but like there's just obviously like there's gonna be parts that are better than others. Uh, yeah. We're on episode twelve, and it's twenty six episodes. Realistically, by this point, the writers are trying to figure out like what the fuck are we doing? You know, like I don't know. I, I think that you also have to remember it's still a slice of life at the end of the day. Uh, to some extent, it, it's comedy, but like. Yeah, there's there's not stuff that's happening all the time. So like when there's when there's not a good bit in there, they kind of all just fall into the same spot of I don't know. There are lots of segments every that aren't single, memorable. Not every single thing is rated off of cotton, like humor too. I am looking for just genuinely like good moments, but like yeah, you're not gonna get that so much in Azumanga Dio. There are some moments like that, but like. A lot of it, they do try to lean into comedy as much as they can. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not going to be one of those like super feel good because it's wholesome Chungus 100. Um, it's going to be like kind of goofy feel good, I guess. Yeah. I don't know this. We're not any, we're not negative Nellies, all right. We don't have to worry about that. Yeah, it's it's just some of the stuff. <laughs> Like, if it doesn't stand out, it's not going to rank too high on the tier list, I guess. This is another, like, being happy in the sunset bit. Um, I think this is probably the best one in this genre yet. I'd agree with that. Um... 
just because this this episode itself is a little unique in how it is entirely narrated by Chio, and it it's like one full day, and I don't know. It gets to the end of the day, and they're just having a good time. That this is a wholesome, like feel good part. So yeah. I'll rate it. Um, probably not quite B, because it's not the highlight of this episode. But it's up there. Okay. Episode 13. What are we doing here? These two are having a moment. I think overall exams is kind of like, I don't know about that one, but this is this is probably a C tier again. Um, I don't remember anything. <laughs> I don't know. This, I think this is probably like a high C. This is probably Tomo at her best, honestly. Maybe it is B. I think Yomi doesn't get a lot of screen time. She mostly exists to hold her down. Yeah. Maybe I would put this at like low B. This one's fine. I guess I, I forget that that these two were like originally in C and we moved them up. Yeah. So I guess our threshold for B is a little bit lower than it was at the start. I think that was good for B, though. Yeah, that, that is good for B. We gotta be putting more stuff in there by the end. C is a little bloated. That's fine for now. I think this episode does get better than this first bit, though. Yeah, here. These are like the three like lowest scoring characters on tests, and they decide to make a coalition. And it's it's like a different side of Osaka that you haven't really seen up to this point. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Yeah. The gang. Yeah, I like I, that. Uh... Probably higher than the last one. Mm -hmm, Maybe sure. higher than the this like dream segment. Maybe even higher than. I like it quite a lot. It honestly could be even better than. I think it's on par or a little bit better than floaters. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think that's that's good. I hope this one is floaters, if I'm remembering right. I think that's I'm like 100% sure that's floaters. Okay. That's on record. I'm hesitating on, on this one a little bit because I think this joke bleeds into the next segment where it's maybe a little bit better. Oh. Um, I don't remember. Actually, next segment based on the screenshot I took. We probably have another B tier on our hands. Oh, she drew arrows in her cat. That's messed yeah. up. It's a threat. So this one. Um, she thinks Osaka's about to ask a question about the exams, but instead she just talks about how in America they leave their shoes on when they go out inside. And that's kind of funny. Yeah, this is awesome. Um...
What else? Eh. That, that's that's good. Another B. Maybe around the same spot? Maybe like down here. Around floaters. Yeah, I would say so. Formation here. This is like after they get their scores back. Um, they're talking about them. She didn't do very good. So it's like of the three that score lowest, who wins between the three? The one with the highest score or the one with the lowest score? <laughs> Osaka did the best. Um, and then Chio's cracked. Uh, are they, then they come to Bullier? Combined, it's over a hundred. I don't know. I like this. It's nothing crazy, but it's like the payoff of the other one. Yeah. Um, they're probably like around the same spot in my mind. Same spot? I think it's a little bit worse. Yeah, I was in my head I was thinking it was better, but it might be it might be worse. Um maybe worse than floaters. That's just a classic. Okay, what else is going on in this episode? What's the screenshot I have? Not memorable. <laughs> That's not a good sign. Yeah. They start a rivalry. I feel like to get an accurate reading on this one, I would need to watch it again, and I'm not going to do that. But I I think I'll give it the benefit of the doubt and place it like mid-C, maybe? Hmm. I don't have a good read on this one. No, I don't really either, bro. <laughs> I'm not really sure. We'll just... We'll just assume there's nothing wrong with it. I don't really remember that one. That one comment saved was the Alzheimer's episode. Oh, I missed it. Maybe. No, no it was actually... You, you might have to go back. Oh, on this one? No, no, or... it's the other one. Just real quick. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that profile picture. Oh, you can't see it on the stream. I cut off the sides of the window on, on on stream to block out the ads on the tier list website, so oh yeah, so the viewers can't see it. But that that is a good comment. Good stuff. Yeah, like most of that episode was in B tier, which is yeah, that's a good thing. We're we're on the Glad. upswing. Okay. Oh, this is good. We might we might have an A on our hands. Um, just because it's funny when these two interact. Uh, 
I like this. This is good stuff. Can you guess what's gonna happen next? I have no clue. Oh, the this same thing crazy. happened again. That's funny. That's funny. So that's that's a good bit. And then um, there's a second good bit in this segment where Osaka can't remember the difference between an elevator and an escalator. This is probably like a low A. It's got like a couple couple good bits in it. And I, I think I think it ends right around there. Definitely lower than balling. Definitely lower. Than um. Are you kidding me. But I think that's good. That's a good one. I mean, I don't know. Hi, we have some pretty solid stuff in high B. So maybe maybe it could go down there. But I don't know. At this rate, I feel like we're going to be shifting things up towards the end. Like some of this is going to go into S. Some of this might go into A. We'll leave it there for now. Um, okay, so this is, they're, they're hopping in cars again, but I think it's different this time. I think I know this one. Oh yeah, I wish I could keep my eyes. Yeah, they, they, they all carpool this time, so no one gets traumatized. Which is a little soft. Oh, okay, that's that's like the whole chapter there. Um hmm. That's I think this is this is a good episode, but that's probably that's like transitioning. It's just like getting from point A to point B. That's there's nothing crazy about that one. That's probably like higher end of C. I, I think then this this next one's good. This is a. I think this is a good Tomo bit. She just sees the key and like throws it into the forest for no reason. That's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. That's funny. So that's a good bit, and then we have another good bit. Here. That's some good line delivery on Chio. And this is a banger. That's good stuff. That is good stuff. I think that's probably about the end of this chapter here, so I would put that in A already. This is this is a meme I've seen uh yeah, removed from the episode. Is it better than balling? Ooh, no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't think I, I don't think so either. 
Probably not better than Escalator either, if I'm being honest. This one's got like one good bit and then like the Tomo throwing the key away is is like solid, but nothing, nothing too crazy. So it's got like one and a half. Um, whereas I, I think I like two bits out of this one. Um, okay, this one, these two are, are fighting. Um, this part's kind of all right. I think like the real, like, allure to this is just like the, the night festival thing. But... Yeah. I don't remember much about this one. It's all right. Oh, she's cracked. <laughs> That's probably another high C. There's nothing too crazy about that one, but it's all right. It's got good vibes. Good vibes. Um, yeah, they're talking to the teachers. Oh, she gets drunk. They ask about adult life. Yeah, this part's too nice. It's yeah, funny. I like that they have the, the song to censor it. It's also a little wholesome. That's good. That's probably better than the last one. I would put that at low B, probably. Yeah. I think that I think that gets into B. I would say is, so. Is that the end of it? I think that's the end of that one. Episode fifteen. We are schmoving. Sports Fest 2! I swear I remember liking the Sports Fest ones. So maybe maybe this one's better than the first one. Because we didn't rate the first one super highly. Oh, there's a bread eating contest. Okay, so Kimura's wife uh, gets name dropped here. My wife. What's your uh, thumbnail supposed to be for the stream? It should yeah. be Osaka. Interesting. Is it messed up? Uh, on my rec recommended, uh, like on the side of like a video, it's showing your million monkeys. Okay, actually, it's showing that. On my app too, like on my phone, it's showing million monkeys like in my watch history. But when I click on my channel, yeah, it shows the right. It shows the right one there. Yeah, no, that's, that's kind of buggy. I I figure that'll be fixed by yeah. the time it becomes a VOD. Yeah, I noticed that too, though. That's weird. There's, I ran into some other bugs with setting this stream up, too. Um, like, YouTube auto-creates a stream, sort of. Like, it's not scheduled for any time, but, like, on the app, I can see, like, one of my super old, like, Xenoblade streams. And it just, if you click on it, it says, it just says it's offline. But that doesn't show up on, like, desktop. And I don't really get it. Hmm. Um, this bit here where he says my waifu, I, what I've heard is that this is what 
made the term waifu exist. Like, like this is yeah. This is the origin story. My waifu. And it's funny that uh, they're surprised that he has a family. That's a good bit. I would put that in B tier. Uh, probably low B tier again. Maybe I can move this one down. Maybe move this one up, honestly. There we go. Maybe something like that. Chio's advocating for him. Um, he does his bit where he like screams again, like the first one. I don't know what this is, but this is this is kind of sick. <laughs> I think this is already off to a better start than the first Sports Fest. It is a lot better, actually. Yeah, that's good. I like that one. Oh my god. Screen My screenshot for this one. Where'd that come from? Got a scroll here. Am I? Where is it? There's something with like a, a bigger ball where Chio gets run over. That's what the screenshot is. I'm not seeing it. Um, not seeing it in the preview. Just scrolling past. I also, I don't know what this is either, but this is funny. This might be A tier. This has got like several, like low, low A tier or high B, but it's, it's got several good bits. And then they've got like this situation going on where Chio's at the bottom, which is funny. Yeah, that's that's got all sorts of stuff going for it. I I think that one can go at the bottom of A. I would agree. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Some of the that stuff, good. some of the stuff yeah. at like higher B is I'm I'm looking back on it and thinking, oh, this is this is also like just as good. I just think like uh, as far as the sports ones go, this one's definitely like. Much better. Much better, yeah. Yeah. I feel like... Hmm. Uh, let's see. I think, like, these four in high B could be moved up to A. I'm gonna... I'm just gonna do this now, Sorry. so I... So I like the top four here, like up to Chio drowning. Oh, okay. I'm I'm gonna do this now so I stop like thinking about it. I'm just going to like bump some stuff up, like adjust the balance here. We can we can cut S down again later. Yeah. But maybe we should consider the uh we're not there yet, but we might want to consider a uh a top two sort of thing where we elect the favorites. Yeah, we could do that. That I'd, way if 
mm. there are some in S. I think keeping S as restrictive as possible is a good thing, but there's like the extra little little spice to it. Because like for instance, um you're we're ranking them, but there's probably gonna be I haven't really ran into mine yet, but there's probably going to be ones that aren't going to be the top of S that I think is the best one. And I think they'll be the same way. Uh, mm. Does that make sense? I think, I think what, what we should do is I think we should have S be top 10. Like it should be capped at 10. Okay. Um, and then we'll, we'll make sure at the end that it's like ordered. Uh, mm -hmm. Probably pay more attention to ordering an S than the other ones. Um, I guess, I guess we'll see how big it, how like tight the competition is later. But what I'm thinking now is, is just that like this, this one here where like Chio dies and Osaka flies away. Like there's a pretty big gap between this and where Osaka is like first introduced. True. Um, so I think, I think that's a good tear break. Um, and in that way, I don't know. I feel like a a has been a little too exclusive thus far, so shifting the thresholds a little bit uh, now should help. Uh, anyways, here's where Kimura's wife like shows up. And they were thinking like she might be weird, uh, but she's not. And this is more propaganda. Yeah, it could be. It could all be fake. She could be a paid actor. Mm -hmm. I think it's all right though. I think that's like a B tier. I think that's yeah. I think that's all that bit is. So. I think it's it's probably not as good as the segment where they see the photo of her. Yeah. But I think it's it's around there. Like it's seeing that realized is is solid. That's that's good stuff. Um Chio gets idiot. She has to find an idiot. This is funny. And then, and then, like, she doesn't want to reveal what she had. That's funny. Um. Then they're looking for, like, a race partner for Sakaki, and she's like, yes. And it's it's gay behind her. That's crazy. Yeah. Woke, even. That's that's the first and only time that's gonna happen in the show. I tell you what. So brave. Yeah, so brave. That's a good one. Uh, that's probably another B tier. Maybe better than the last, maybe up here. I'm I'm paying attention to ordering less as this goes on because there's just so much. And then they've got some kind of, is this like a long distance marathon? Oh yeah, this one's, this one's funny. I don't remember this one, but I I trust that it's good. Uh. Oh wait, that was Is that still? Right, this was weird. Okay. This one is actually still a part of the last one because yeah. this one, the numbers are in. This is like a 10 second 
This is just like a 10 second bit where she checks her weight. And then the credits roll. This is the Crap. worst one. Easy. Yeah, this one sucks. I don't, this is like the only one in the series that's so short. And it's not even for a good joke. So maybe we can maybe we can bump this one up a few places then. Because that, that's got a lot of substance there. Okay. Second Culture Fest is probably better than the first one as well. Let's help. Um... Okay, she's saying nonsense. That's a good good sign. Yep. I imagine Chio is a concrete block. I need to watch this one in its entirety to be sure. That's a good one. That's solid. That's solid. Nothing wrong with that. More B tier. Ain't nothing uh, we, wrong with that. We've, I think we've climbed out of the, the C tier slump. Thank God. It was starting to get depressing. Yeah. This this bit's good. Is this the same one? Okay, no, this is a different one. I was right. They're all around five minutes, so I'm rather than like spending too much time trying to find the exact breakpoint, I am sort of guessing. Uh there's another Osaka moment here. That's pretty funny. Another fucking red flag. Yep. And then she's like not doing work. She owes carrying. This is good. I like this one. Mm. Nothing crazy. Probably like a high B. Higher. Maybe like right there. Right behind floaters. Maybe right above floaters, honestly. You think so? It's got like... Give me your rationale. Yeah, so, so this one... Floaters is just like all about Osaka, but it's like early Osaka where it's like it's okay. And then this one this one has a lot of Osaka moments, but I, I feel like by this point in the series she's a little more cemented in her niche and like it's they've figured it out a little more. And she's she just does a little bit better of a job at it. Like, I don't know. The first Osaka segments are are good, but there's kind of a different vibe to them um, compared to later when you've just come to expect this from her. That's what I think. I think that you could be on or something there. Yeah, they're they're around around the same spot though. Uh, oh, here's this guy. God, don't you hate it when you accidentally click on the muse score on your toolbar and then have to wait for it to fucking load before you Ooh, that's true. I actually close it. I don't have it on my toolbar these days. I do for some reason. I really shouldn't. Sometimes I have the uh, the Xbox. Uh, I click on the Xbox button on my toolbar. Yeah, you got that. Because I've tried to remove it and it just comes back. That's crazy. I've never I've never had that problem. And that that one really sucks to open because then it says you're online on Xbox. Oh, that's just embarrassing. And then it's like, I, I don't... When you close that app, I don't think it actually closes. It's one wow. of those. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's really erm awkward. I like that they have hats of the, the orange cat, the Chio's dad. This is banger. This is a banger here. Look at this. Penguin Chio. Penguin Chio. What do you think of Penguin Chio? It makes me mad. She's pretending to be something she's not. Oh, honestly, That's her. That's her area of expertise. Dude, she's kind of like a little pretentious choosing the fucking penguin. But she gets what she deserves right here. That's a guaranteed <laughs> concussion. This is good. I think from this point on in the show, we should just assume that she has a concussion. Mm. You know, that might that might change the, the vibe a little bit. I might give this an A. I might not have given it an A before, but now we've kind of we've lowered our standards a little bit. I'm I'm thinking like low A. Like right there. There's no way. Cause like B tier B tier is not nearly as exclusive. A, a, t a and B tiers are not exclusive compared to what they were before. I think Penguin Chio is awesome. No. <laughs> no way. That's funny. That's funny. That's funny. I'm gonna. Over I'm. I'm overruling this. That's this is. Crazy. This is good. I think it's pretty mundane. It does get a little overdone later on here. They're just like, oh wow, Penguin Chio is cute. That's funny. Nah. Uh, then he shows up, he puts on a hat. That's kind of raw. That's raw? Yeah. That's one of his better moments. I think that's yeah, funny. It is. That's a bit better than his usual um his usual act. He's he has good intentions there. He's trying his best. Yeah. Well I would I'd put that in B. That that's not um probably like higher B. Maybe like right there. I guess that's mid B at that point. Um and this one, I, I kind of remember this one. Osaka and Chio go and tour the rest of the festival. And Chio can't eat because she can't reach. So she feeds her. And the bystanders are like, wow, that's awesome. I think that's not as good as the introduction of Penguin Chio, but it's up there. I think that's that's good stuff. Maybe be right there, honestly. This is a good episode. Mm -hmm. Okay, next one. Mm. Oh wait, that's not what I thought it was. Nah, oh, man. <laughs> they they reuse that animation for when it she they says do. "Merry Christmas" later. I'm waiting for that. I like this bit. They're trying to remember what a panda looks like. What makes me mad? How can you not know?
That's good stuff. I think we've been on a roll. She's saying random stuff again. We get that clip again, but this time in color. We'll put that in high B. I I think I think this is good. Really? Yeah. High B. High B. It's good. Nothing crazy, yeah. so it's it's not an A or anything, but that's good stuff. Whatever you say, man. I think it's, you've been drunk with power. I th I think that's just like <laughs> Osaka for five minutes, nah, and man. that's 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 gonna be good stuff. You are drunk with power. What do you think, huh? I think it's definitely not better than uh, when they co when they make a coalition union. I think that I think it's a little bit worse than that. Like there? Yeah, right there, right there. Yeah. That's oh, that's fine. <laughs> I mean, I just love that they unionize. That's big. That's big for the working class. You've got a good point there. <laughs> you wouldn't want to make the working class angry, would you? I feel I feel like this one's like better throughout. It's got like more than one joke. Yeah. But not a single one of those jokes super like stands out from the rest. So I'm okay putting it there too. Damn right. Um, here we've got Yukari playing soccer. Um, another one of these it's all right that might be like a high C like top of C for me yeah I would agree that's not it, right. do, it doesn't really stand that's I don't know that one's kind of been done before but it it's not like made any worse by it it's just uh -huh. it just doesn't stand out. It's just okay. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Merry Christmas. Yeah. That's good. That's good. That's good. Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, we did it. That deserved one of those. Oh, nice. Oh, <laughs> nice. I I I I was Gaslit into thinking that was part of the show for a second. That would so go crazy. I was like, why would they put that there? But that's sick, though. Yeah, I I was trying to remind myself that that's a thing that I like I could have done sparingly through mm -hmm. the stream, but I kind of forgot about it because I've been paying too much attention, you know. To oh yeah, well we still got six and a half more episodes, so yeah. Like I said, very sparingly. That way I can make uh, this more funny. I think the rest of this segment is fine. Yes, Merry Christmas. I I think that's like the highlight here. I, I think I, we can I put it above the last see. one. No, no, I see. I see. It doesn't deserve to get into B just because of Merry Christmas. It's awesome. Well, I mean... Hmm... I mean, these these ones at the bottom of B aren't like super crazy. It's just what I'm thinking. Um. They talk about whether or not Santa's real. That's big. That's pretty good. I don't know. I think this one breaks into B. Just barely. You think so? By the skin of its teeth? By the skin of its teeth. Because, like, 
yeah, these these ones right above it aren't aren't super crazy or anything. It's not it's not that big of a deal being in, in B tier. We don't wanna give them a big head. But credit where it's due, right? I suppose. This one's better though. Yeah, this is actually the one I was thinking about when I said Merry Christmas. No, I'm actually this is awesome. Yeah. This one's big. This is a good bit. Is there yeah, anything else? <laughs> it's haunting. Yeah. The government pays me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's good. Um, this one's good. I don't know if there's much else to the segment, but I... I I trust that the this, rest of it doesn't drag it down enough for this to this be... This single joke is better than the single joke of Osaka saying Merry Christmas. Oh, for sure. Oh, for sure. Yeah, this one's definitely like high B because of that single joke. I think the rest of I it love, is fine. I love I work or the government pays me. Yeah. We could put that at like top of B, maybe? <laughs> top of B? Do you think it's better than... Maybe, okay, maybe... Maybe down here. Uh, Right below pandas. If it was my tier list, I'd put it above pandas. But that's just because I, I could put it above pandas. Hits. That's like, it does hit very hard. That's a good one. I'm cool with that. It's insane. Um Let's see. Where are we? It's the next one. I think the next one actually doesn't start till like around here. They're they're outside. They're having an outing. They're being friends outside of school, which doesn't happen a whole lot, so that's cool. Yeah, that's wholesome chungus. It's wholesome chungus. They go to karaoke, you see Osaka singing. Um, and then she's good at singing. And then and then she's not good at singing. And that's the bit. And I don't, I don't think that's an awesome joke, but I like, it's I like wholesome. The karaoke. Karaoke's fun. But yeah, you're right. Yeah. I I feel like it could get into like low B for like vibes. I don't think it's that funny. But but it, it's it's got good vibes. Maybe just right there. It's fine. What do you think? Should I go higher or lower? Uh no, I think it's a good spot. Okay, uh, I think that's it for this episode. Uh... Let's see. We don't. Yomi doesn't get much screen time, so I, I think she gets a little more here, which is, which is cool. Um, this is like right after they get back from break and she's like I went to Hokkaido and she's flexing you love to see it and you love to see it she brought back these which is um, this is actually relatable because when I studied abroad I also brought back these like like what these are based on which is which is just so relatable. Yeah, that um, might get some points for the relatability from you for sure. Yeah. It doesn't get better than this. It doesn't get better uh, than this. And then Tomo like rats are out and the teacher gets jealous. Um 
Uh, this is good. I like this. I think A might be a little drastic, but this is... This is like one of those moments where it's not really... I don't know, it's a good bit with characters that like aren't the usual culprits yeah. of like good bits, which is nice to see. Like this is a pretty... This one stands out to me. Yeah, she she flexes and she she regrets it. Yeah, that's awesome. So I like that. Shit. Is is A pushing it? You think? Uh, I mean, fucking Geo Penguin is an A. I don't know if A is even sacred anymore. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put it in I'll put it at the top of B cause I I don't think it's as good as Chio Penguin oh really? yeah I think that's where we disagree <laughs> think. it's better than Chio Penguin part 2 for someone who says that we should we should be more inclusive of A you sure don't like comparing it to Chio Penguin Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I like that. Next one. Um, the vending machine doesn't work uh, for Tomo, but then it works for her. Oh, yeah. Classic. And that's a classic. Um... And she eats without splattering, I guess. Um, uh, this is kind of like an extension of the last one, but probably not as good. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, no, this is. That's funny. That's. That's, I think that's still better than C tier. Yeah, I like the music there. That actually that's going kind of crazy. Yeah. And that's yeah, this is sick. Yeah, this is good shit. This is like one of, my, one of the quickest ways to like impress me and think and make, like have me like like what's going on is to kind of like deviate. Um, yeah, that's that's a pretty unique bit as well. Like, yeah, to deviate from the, the norm stylistically is a quick way for me to think that something's awesome. Hmm. You should watch Bochi the Rock. Yeah, that's what it's full of that. telling me. What do you think? So, somewhere in B, I think. Yeah, I would say somewhere in B. I think high or low B, though. Definitely... I think it's probably somewhere in the middle. I was going to say, it's, I think it's... Maybe better than floaters, less than the other one. Mm. I don't know what the other one. Is. Yeah, this one, this one's like nothing crazy. This one's probably worse than floaters, honestly. This was just Osaka saying random stuff. Oh really? Oh, especially she says, she says that they're all dead or something. Yeah. Yeah, that's not that's not better than floaters. We were kidding ourselves. Yeah. That was when we were desperate for something good, huh? Something like that. The tier list is looking a lot more balanced now. I like this. It's okay. It's it's probably good that C is the most populated, but... No, it's like, average. That makes sense. Yeah. Well, I mean, if we have five tiers, then really B is in the middle. No. But, but yeah, C is average. Um, what's going on? Oh, I remember this episode now. Um, okay, so they talk about going to an amusement park tomorrow, and Yomi's like super excited, and it's like a, a new side of this character that you don't really see up till now. Yeah, uh, yeah. So that's cool. 
And then the bit is that in the next chapter she gets sick and they go without her. And then at the end, um, they talk about how fun it was and how she should have been there. That's and they got her a sou kind of souvenir. Fun. And she gets upset. And this is a good episode. Like this, this part's good. I, I know it's not funny. Yeah, that's. This is this is real as hell. Yeah, that's solid. And then this last one is another one in the genre of uh, not really anything happening. They're just having a snowball fight and laughing, and then she gets sick again. No. So, I would say the snowball fight is like. That probably tops the uh, the other like ending sequences in the similar genre. Yeah, um, probably like a high C there. Probably just like right above the other one. And then I maybe where she's excited about going on the trip. Maybe like a low B. And then the I payoff. See. The payoff to that joke where they go without her and then brag about it is probably higher it's than a that. One hundred percent higher B. That's just relatable. It's it's so sad. Um maybe like you're thinking around here, like around the pandas one. Honestly, even higher. You know I don't fuck with the panda one. So <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> is it I'm, better than it's Sugoi not Santa? Merry Christmas. Okay. I'm putting it below the panda one. That's fucked Because up. I've got the controller in my hand. This guy's drunk with power. No wonder he likes Geo. They're not so different after all. It's fucked up. It's fucked up. Uh... Okay, I remember this episode too. This one... This one's not that funny. This one's mostly for vibes, I think. Oh, right, yeah. I think this one's called the Yawn Master, and she takes a big yawn, and they're like, whoa, that was sick. And then they all try yawning together. That's funny. It reminds me of the cat thing. I don't know how to explain it. I'm not gonna have to... I don't want to explain that. I'd say that's like mid-B. It's all right, yeah. It's good enough. Mid B. Wait. Where did you just put that? I put it here. Okay. Maybe maybe a little bit lower. I was gonna say maybe a little bit lower than mid B. Uh, I don't know. It's. The joke's okay, but it's it's got a good vibes. Yeah, maybe maybe a little bit lower. Just because it's okay doesn't mean it hits mid B. It's like it's like solid. I don't know. I think yeah, I just I don't think it's rating it on it more than better. just comedy, you know. Yeah, I think where it is now is much better. Like there. Yep, one hundred percent. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, uh, I'm not sure I remember much about this next one. I think I think more vibes. It's sunset. They're all hanging out. They're being good friends. Um, I think it's, yeah, like good based on vibes, but it doesn't have like this one has vibes and is, has an okay joke. This one does not have an okay joke to go with it. So it's probably like lower. Yeah. Like mid C. Mid C. Where are we thinking mid C? 
I was I was just gonna put it here, like right above hiccups part two. Yeah, much but a lot it could, of things could probably go over hiccups part two to be honest. Yeah. Like I there. didn't like it because it's like it's like uh some some Osaka. I yeah, I just uh, hiccups part two to me is much worse than hiccups part one and like hiccups part one is somewhere further up it's an a tier girl and girl violence it's usually a chio so so this is this is a it's refreshing for sure Mm. anyway um okay Next one, uh, it's these two. This is this is a pretty unique scene. Um, I don't remember a whole lot about it. I think they're just talking to other adults and yeah. thinking about how they're more put together than they are. <laughs> and then... Um, Chio's running between the street lights, which is funny. That's that's all right. That's pretty good. I might put that at like high C. Mm. Um, yeah, probably probably better than the last one. Um. Yeah. Go with that. And the next one. Next one is sort of like a continuation of the same thing, but they have a, a more heartfelt discussion and they, they're talking and it's lore. Talking about growing up. And I think this is wholesome. Like Tomo breaks into her house. Yeah, home invasion is. So wholesome. It's wholesome. Oh, look at that! They're just hanging out. She's not even. She's not even doing something unhinged. I think that's good. This is just a wholesome es- episode. About the vibes. I think I. I might put that one. Does that break into B tier? For the vibes, uh, you know, it could. Yeah, I could. Oh, I could see it either way, but we'll put it there. And then this last one is just kind of a continuation of the same thing. Um, kind of like a conclusion to it and I, I think it's probably a little bit worse just because it's more of the same i don't remember this part yeah yeah that, that one's not great i think i think the last one was better maybe like Down here again, eh, you know, like middle, low C. Okay. Episode 20. Big. Third year. That's huge. Um, Tomo gets a haircut. And everyone's like, oh my god. Yeah. Um. Uh. Yukari is saying things. She hates the education system. That's all right. And there's there's this bit. 
Uh, she lands in Kimura's class, which is funny. Yeah, that's pretty good. I think it's mid, though, to be honest. Yeah, we could put that. Probably C again, right? Yeah, I would say C. I think there's, I think there's good jokes in there, so we'll we'll put it at high C. Um, okay, I remember this one. So Yukari gets jealous that other teachers are getting like birthday presents from their students yeah happy birthday uh <laughs> <laughs> that part's funny <laughs> yeah this is good i'm thinking b tier for this nothing crazy but it's, it's good stuff and then she goes out to flex and then finds that he also got a, a present, so it's not as big of a flex. That's good. I like that. Oh my god, this tier list is getting long. I have to scroll to put stuff in. We could put that above Merry Christmas for sure. I might put it like all the way, like mid B. I like the happy birthday. Yeah. It's very funny. Maybe like there. I think it could go even higher. It's not above floaters. No, it's not above floaters. No, we'll leave it there. There ain't no way. There ain't no way. Is this Osaka saying something funny again? Eh, uh, not really. Okay, she's talking about killing Chio. Awesome. 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 What is... Oh, okay. Um... <laughs> Bang. Bang. Wait, th this is actually sick. So so Chio's talking about um, studying abroad in America, I think, because that's that's <laughs> yeah. that's her plans after high school. And she's like, her, my dog will violence. protect me. And then and then Osaka's like, Nope. Someone just shot your dog. What are you gonna do now? Yeah, I like this one a lot actually. That's good. She's so woke. She knows about the Propagating gun violence in the United States. Yeah. Yeah, that's like good. That's I that's like awesome. That that's an A tier for me. A tier? Oh yeah. Someone someone did the A, a tier alarm, everyone. A tier alarm. Honestly, I think it, it gets even better because. Sakaki's like, no, your dad will come in and help you after your dog dies. And then and then we've got a cutaway. We've got a cutaway to it like a cop chase with this this guy. That's sick. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't they both be good? Come on. No no that I'm saying that's like in the same chapter. That's the same one? Yeah, that's that's the same oh chapter. Oh my god, it's the goat! This is good. And Osaka this says he he gets shot too. Okay, oh my god. Yeah, this one's pretty good. Dude, this is gonna tell you like when it deviates from the art style just a little bit, like Oh my god. Yeah, that's a that's a oh solid one. No no, that's not an A tier, buddy. That's an S tier. You think that's S tier? Certified S tier. Someone Someone, ring the alarm. Holy shit. 
He doesn't think so. I think it's an S tier. Are you kidding me? Yeah, we could do we could do S tier for that. That's definitely an S tier. Four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> it's like, yeah. yeah, your dog's gonna fucking die, and then, and then they're like, "Oh no!" And they're like, "Oh, my dad will save me." Custom to the United States? Are you kidding me? That's pretty good. That's an official United States crossover. That's that's big. Oh, we've got more of those coming. I think. I I'm I'm aware of it. Like, holy shit, that's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> Okay, this is probably going to be an A here. This this one, probably not as good as the last one, but this is solid. I've seen this be a meme. <laughs> I saw this one, That's like, be, be a meme as, like, recently as today, outside of the show. America, yeah. Hello. 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 Yeah, that is, that's actually hell for me. Wait, is that the same one? There's no. Let's we got is we it? got a we got a title like at the start of that. So this is Are you sure? Are you sure about that? I'm I'm sure about that. We can check this. Episode twenty. Yeah, it's the third one. Okay. It's this one. Or no, it's the fourth one. It was child president. I just didn't get a good screenshot of of that bit there. Because I was trying to go for screenshots that didn't have subtitles over them. Yeah. So I, yeah, there, there wasn't a good spot there. That's an easy A. That's solid. That's probably, well, that's a funny bit. And then the rest of it's like, okay. I think. So maybe actually low A. Because there's there's not much else that happens here. Mm -hmm. We'll do that. That's still solid though. And then... Um... I think this is like a Kimura bit. Which is okay. Um, she's trying to find like the good points in him. This is all right. Um, I think that's about all that happens there. That's probably like a low B. Okay. 21, episode 21. This this is a solid oh, one. This is a, this is a, oh my this, god. This is the one I put on like last week or something. This one's insane. This one is crazy. Okay, so the bit here is that the teacher says the school trip's been canceled just to mess with Chio. Which is already awesome. This Which is, is already awesome. Yeah. That's this solid. Is for being funny. <laughs> um, I think the rest is alright here. Um... But it starts strong. Oh my god! It, it does. It's, it starts strong. Probably not strong enough to put it in A, but maybe like top of, maybe top of B, because the rest is all right. Yeah. Um. Yeah. And the next one should be. I think the next next one starts when they land. Um. Okay, so Tomo starts running around. Freaking out. Uh, Chio starts speaking Okinawan. She's got she's got some lore. She's like, this gate is on the two thousand yen bill. 
And they're like, wow, it's a 2,000 yen bill. You know, those are rare. They're like $2 bills here. Um, I didn't know that when I landed in Japan. I tried to hand like the taxi driver a 2,000 yen bill because my, like the ride was exactly 2,000 yen. And he was like trying to not take it. Yeah, he's like, keep that shit. And, and I was like, what are you talking about? You're giving me my ride for free? And I was confused. And I got him to take it in the end. Um, this is... This is a good one. There's a, there's a lot of stuff that happens in this five minutes. I think none of these jokes are like the greatest, but it, they're all they're all solid here. One hundred percent. And then, oh my God, it's the Champaloo bit as well. The bit of this episode is saying the same thing over and over again, which is awesome. Yeah, that's a reference. That's got to be the end of that one. That's that's solid. There's. Oh. Yeah, that's a new, new one there. So. Uh. Where'd you put? Uh. Oh, you put it top of B. Yeah. Her, her game freaked out. Yeah, I like that. I put this, this one's probably actually. better because it's like, I mean. Oh, I guess that's chomp blue. I I think like this bit of of messing with Chio on its own is better, but it's a little bit weighed down by the rest being like, okay. Yeah. And this one's like solid throughout. With nothing standing out too much, but like it's it's consistent. Yeah. So I'd, I'd put it just like one notch higher. Um, I I could be talked down though. No, I just I think the joke just hits so hard. This one. I, the yeah, but I could put them both in A. This is a good episode. Yeah, I think so. I think we're gonna have a lot of A in this one, to be honest. Nothing wrong with that. The bigger A is, the the more exclusive S looks. True. Um. Okay, this is good. They're like right above a cliff, and this is this is Chio abuse. So that's funny. That's pretty awesome. And then and then the teacher comes up and does it too. And that's also funny. Yes. And I think the rest they go like snorkeling and it's and it's just vibes. Yeah. Oh. Okay, she's cute. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. This is the same one, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> Look at my screenshot. I got it. This one's awesome. Oh. No way. There's no way. No. That's awesome. You think this is. <laughs> where where would you put this? You think? Uh, is Sata Andagi capable of carrying this to S tier? I mean, it's also got like the Chio abuse at the start, which is funny. Oh shit! You're so right. Um, I think it's dragged down a little bit by the middle, 
Um, so they've got like snorkeling. This is snorkeling. It's not like anything stupid. It, like, yeah, it's it's not it's not crazy. There actually is like, a joke in that bit. I think. I'm just saying, like you know, most things that we say get dragged down. It's like because it is like actually like a stupid like not yeah. thing or whatever. But if it's just like. It's not it, it's not one of the bits that's like consistently good throughout. It it has like highs and lows. The lows aren't that low though. This is this is just kind of whatever. Like if this was its own chapter, it would probably be like C. Yeah. Yeah. Um Yeah, would you put that in S? That's up to you, brother. I think it's pretty damn good. I think it I think it might not quite reach S. It's the closest A to S we got. Yeah, I think it's like right at the top of A. Um If if Sata Undagi like wasn't a meme outside of the show, I probably wouldn't think that's quite as funny. Really? Because just because like they they've already done like the Champlu bit earlier, and that's that's kind of like the same thing. Okay. That that could be top of A though. I think that's good. And then. Uh, I think I like that face. Yeah, that that I think that's what the the guy that said this is the schizophrenia episode that that this was his profile picture. <laughs> which yeah, which is awesome. Episode? Huh? You mean the Alzheimer's episode? <laughs> oh yeah, the Alzheimer's. <laughs> yeah, I, someone's probably commented that too. <laughs> yeah. Um Okay, this one I remember this one having like a weird cutoff point where it's like they find the cat and then the chapter breaks like in the middle of them finding the cat. Right. Um yeah, right here. I think This is good. I do think it's good. That might be... Is that A, though? That might be, like, top of B. I'm not sure that... I think that's probably, like, the least... Has she pet the cat yet? No, I don't think so. Then, yeah, it's top of B. Yeah, it's the weakest segment so far this episode. Which is insane. Yeah. Then she pets the cat, and then they go explore the island, and not too much happens, and then they leave the cat, and it's it's sad, and you start crying. And then that's the end of the episode. So would you say petting the cat is better? Because I, th I think there's less like substance to this one compared to the last one. Yeah, but it's got the vibes, right? But it, like, I don't know. It, it does have the vibes. The, how much is the emotional weight uh, about, like, how much is that, like, valued, you know? Because this is the big mm. payoff from the rest of the show, I feel like. It is It is a pretty big payoff. We could put that... Like, yeah. You consider it alone, it's like, all right. But, like, if you consider all the times she's gotten bitten... That's like that's like some huge catharsis, like the uh, like a cathartic moment in the show. That's true. I'll put it at the bottom of A then. Like yeah. all like one, two, three, four. Like these are all from this episode, just in a row right there. And Sata and like, he is a bit higher, which is pretty good. This is a good episode. Oh, there's my. My own stream with the wrong thumbnail in my own recommended. That's crazy. Oh, okay. This goes. This goes hard. This is the meme you sent me a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and what follows is pretty good too. She's just saying stuff again. And they reuse the same animation like four times in the segment. Yeah. That's good. I remember this episode being really good. Oh yeah, this is the third uh this is the third beach trip. Yeah. This is solid. Um Oops. Uh Okay. Yeah, that goes on a little bit longer. This is funny. The the gates open and it reveals the the fricked up car. Yeah. There it is. Cuz we in the the year prior, they carpooled in a van so they avoided the trauma. But now it's back and all the jokes from the first the first beach episode are paying off again. <laughs> this is funny. Yeah, this is a good one. Dude, this this might be S actually. This is like like the bits from all the from the previous episodes but like evolved. This yeah. is like the the finale of this this version of the bit. Where does this end? I I think it's still going. This is still the same one. They usually last about five minutes, so we're like five minutes in now. <laughs> this is good. <laughs> That's good. That's solid. Okay, that it's it's all of That's that. A good one. It starts out strong and it's got a little bit of filler in the middle and then it and then it ends really strong again. That might be yeah. Maybe bottom of S. I yeah, I could be I could put that in S, I think. I think it's bottom of S so. Yeah. Probably a little it's it's similar to Sata Andagi in where it's it's like it's got good stuff on both ends yeah. and a little bit of a dip in the middle. I think I think it's a little better. So I'm I'm cool with that. Next up, um, I think. This next one's pretty forgettable, actually. Um, they're just out on the beach. Yeah. I don't. I don't remember much of this one. No. And I don't, I, I'm not going to bother to watch it. Um, could it go in D? We haven't had a D for a while. Could be. It's not, I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's not really. I'll put it at the bottom of C, I guess. It's not crazy. Towards the end, we might move stuff around just to make it look a little nicer. 
Uh, I think this next one's better. So they're studying for exams on this trip. Yeah. We get that that clip again. Osaka's looking around for help, but she's not really trying. This is all right. Then they ask her for help, but she's a PE teacher, so she's not very useful. <laughs> this is pretty good. She's speaking in English. This is this is one of the, the parts where they good. yeah they yeah. they switch up the style. I that could be that could be a. I would say so, yeah, for sure. Where an A? I think uh, it's better. I think it's better. I think it's slightly better than uh, than Shio Gaslight. Here Personally. is it better than Champlu? Nah. Okay. I like that. We're we're breaking up the stuff from that episode. That's good. Um, okay. This next one, this is like the next morning. So they're stretching together and that's wholesome. It's got vibes like the, the lighting on this is, is weird. Like they got new lighting for this, this segment because it's the morning. Yeah. I like this bit. Uh, cause this is like the exact same clip from when she's in the car. She's got like the same shirt on, but it's very obviously just pasted into this frame. Like they didn't redraw this at all. And it, it looks really off. And I think that's very funny. So that's, that's solid. And then, and then we've got this. Oh, this one's good. This is crazy. Like, I think this bit alone, where she's got the knife, that might be like S tier material on its own. But I like that's that's also a nice Easter egg that they threw in the the clip from earlier. So this, this bit lasts for like three minutes, which is awesome. They cut to the ketchup, that's funny. This is like the foreshadowing from way long before I, the other beach episode. I, I, like, I like how she says, I've failed. And it's like, that, that's, that's good. I don't know. She could have said like nothing and left, but that's that makes it even better. That could be S. Yeah. For me. I think it's pretty good. It's iconic. Is it higher in S, you think? I think it could be one higher, not two higher. I think it could be too higher. No, not the Amer over the America bit. Mm. The America bit's way too good, bro. And then, well, look, this is the same chapter. You've you've come back to this. You come full circle. They they reuse so much of the same animation in this episode. It's awesome. <laughs> um, I I like Chio with knife or not Chio sorry uh, Osaka with knife, but I just I personally think that the America bang shit is way better. I'm okay with that. I guess. 
we've got like like three Osaka bits here. This one at least. I mean, I yeah. guess this is also an Osaka bit. Who are we kidding? <laughs> How many is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so that's ten in S tier. Oh. So I think from here on out, if we want to put something in S tier, we gotta we gotta reassess what we've got there already. Cause I, I think like out of 130, I think 10 should be an S tier. Uh but we might yeah. be set, honestly. I um, think so. I think we'll have a few A's, but I I can't think of anything else on my head that I'm like, oh wait, oh no, I can't think of a single thing that could break S tier. Yeah, it's coming up. It's I think it's in the next episode. It, oh, yeah, God. there's there's definitely some good stuff that's yet to come. No, like, yeah. I I might know <laughs> what you're thinking of. The whole reason why we're here, you know. Yeah. Let's be honest. This is all right. This is this is nothing crazy though. I'll, I'll just stick that in like high B. Um, yeah. They're just sad that summer's ending. Maybe like right below pandas. No, nah, it should really, be lower. As I say, you really like that panda spot. I do like the pandas one. Well, I, I'm saying you like putting stuff under it to inflate it. It's kind of funny. Oh yeah. <laughs> you keep you keep putting stuff under it, so it, it like with inflation, it makes it more higher value. That's true. I don't think. I don't think this one's got like too much going for it. No, no. It's it's just it's just like one of the conclusion sections where it's like just the end yeah. of the episode they're wrapping things up now this one last sports fest i this isn't i don't think this is what you're thinking of uh it's study group session yeah that's like second to last episode oh wait sorry i for some reason i thought it was only 24. yeah no, i'm fucked i'm cooked Uh, we're talking about a bread eating contest. I, I think she she mentioned a bread eating contest in the the previous sports festival, and then there wasn't one, but there's yeah. going to be one this year. So she's getting ready for it. Oh, this is a meme. I've been got. Yeah, this one's good. Bye bye. Bye bye. That's probably like about the end of that bit. That's solid. Um, does it break into A? I think so. I think so. Okay, I'll put it at the bottom of A though. I don't think it's. I don't think it's too crazy. Um, okay, next, uh, I think, like, Tomo goes a, a step too far and, like, knocks down a tent, and everyone's sad, and it gets a little awkward. And then she doesn't learn her lesson. Um, so I guess that's in character. So I, yeah. I shouldn't hate on it too much. It's just not that great of a bit. You can, uh, I, yeah. know you, I know you got a bias, but like someone who doesn't hate Tomo as much, I think that's like a solid C tier thing. Yeah. Like mid C, you think? I might but, put it a little uh, lower. Probably about mid C. I like that spot though. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Okay. Um.
Hold on, I gotta check the tier list. What are we looking at here? I'm not sure exactly where the where the chapter breaks. Oh, it's here. Oh, okay, so the second second one is up through here. So we've got not a whole lot going on there. And then, so that's the one we ranked. Then this next one is also not too eventful. No. I guess this is the bread eating contest. I like the build up for the bread eating contest more than the actual payoff. Yeah, the payoff isn't that great. She's just like, I don't know which one to eat. And then she loses because she spends too much time thinking about which one to eat. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah, eh. that's that's whatever. It's like maybe that's that's higher C probably. Yeah, probably better than the last better. one. Yes. Next one, they they do some dress up. Um, she's excited about it. Uh, what else? Is this a relay race? Yes. It's a bit of teamwork. It's, it's wholesome. I don't think this one's anything crazy either. And I, it comes down to the teachers at the end classic and uh the gang loses and then they walk off into the sunset and i think that's the whole episode so that that was that was actually two segments there uh they're probably both c though yeah they're kind of whatever it's unfortunate. I feel like the uh, the breading contest had a, the breading contest had quite a, a lot of potential there. Yeah, might even. I don't know, at least in my opinion, I think that that would have been awesome. I I agree. It, it could have been a better bit than it was. But who are we? It's kind of over in a flash. That wrote this. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, next one. Okay, this is good. Episode yep. 24. Uh, career paths. So, what's happening? So, Sakaki's looking on the internet. She wants to be a vet or something. Yeah. And her plan is to is this revealed here um oh, she's she's thinking about if she lives on her own she could get a pet because her parents are allergic or something and so that's cool it's unfortunate that sakaki has a bunch of nothing burgers like this <laughs> i think I think this is a this is cool because she's got like lore and this episode is where the lore kind of comes around like you I get I suppose it's just more like I don't know like, like when she it's part of the mm -hmm. show I guess for her to be having these inner dialogues like everyone else it just feels like I don't know maybe it's just she's not always as interesting yeah. but but that's the point right yeah. I feel like it has to be. This could I mean, be coping, maybe it's not, but like I feel like part of the show's uh, intention is to make just things as boring and ordinary as possible. But like in a funny way. You said like before where like the petting the wild cat was the payoff. Yeah. And I like I think that's kind of the payoff, but I also think this episode is is really 
mm. the payoff. Um, but yeah, this first, the very first segment here is just like fine. I think. Um, I think it'll get a little bit better. What else is, yeah. Yeah, she's just thinking about moving out and being able to own a cat later, which is which is cool. You get points for points for having lore. Probably yeah. like high C, maybe around there. Nothing too crazy. Um, all right, and this is sick. So they get jumped by the gang of cats, and then the wild cat shows up from yeah, Okinawa. This is fucking awesome. That's that? sick. Yeah, how do they do that? This is sick. And she's it scares off all the other cats. And then they take it to the vet. And this is a new chapter there. So it's basically just that on its own. I think that's yeah, enough to get it in B. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe like right below Merry Christmas. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then in the doctor's office, I think, I think this, yeah, this is where, yeah, Chio agrees to take care of it for the rest of the year until. Sakaki can take it when she moves out, and that's that's cool. That's wholesome. I would that's... not fucking trust her with that cat. True. <laughs> this is that's suspicious. I think I. I don't know. This is. I'm just gonna put this right next to the last one because they're they're kind of the same. Like they should really just go together. I like I like the character development. That's like the only lore we get. Um, and then they go and visit Ch Chio's house, and it's it's wholesome. Um, and, uh, Tomo gets humbled because she playing she's playing with the cat, and it bites back. Um, that's all right. Uh, I don't know. This, this segment like brings in all the other characters. Uh, but it's not, it's not that crazy. No. I'd probably put it below the last two segments. But maybe still in B, because it's fine. It's still pushing the the plot of this episode forward a bit. It does what it needs to do, but I don't think it's anything crazy. Yeah, I might actually put it at the top of C. And then the last one is where Sakaki just spends the night, and it's uh, wholesome. And I think that's probably better. I might put this next to the other two that we placed together just because... I don't know, this whole episode just has a... is pretty consistent. Mm -hmm. It's not... it's not trying to be super funny, but it's... Uh, it... It's set out to do a mission and it achieved it. And it was pretty good. Like it was all right. Yeah, like all, like low B, like solid. Oh, here we go. The chopstick thing. Yeah, that's that's at the end. Um, what's at the start here? Also, more shit. This I think this is gonna be a good episode. Nihon, 
急カーブで落ちたのはスピードかなすごっすげえなんだこいつえぇあ、ちおちゃんご相談がありますよ Oh, I remember this This is, this is kind of funny. Chio says, I think you should be a teacher. I think you've got the mind of a teacher. And then Osaka tells that to Yukari and, and is offended. And that's funny. That is funny. It's like another shot at teachers. <laughs> this show does that pretty often. Yeah. <laughs> then they go back to Chio's house. Um... They've got that. That's funny. <laughs> He's such a funny guy. Uh, I'd I'd put that somewhere in B. That's yeah, for sure. solid. Like mid, oh, low. I think a low. Okay. What a compare it to the. It's better than cat fight. Okay. Is it better? Is it between that and Merry Christmas? It could be better than Merry Christmas. Yeah, I think so too. It's got a couple. It's got like a couple good bits. I feel like it could go like all the way up here. Like I mean, mid yeah. B, but on the lower end still a little bit. Um. And they go to a shrine. She's got a, a good coin. Um, uh, oh, then they try to rob her. That's funny. That's funny. That's pretty good. I'll put that in B again, I think. Yeah, it's a well done bit. Probably. I mean, I I don't mean to fall back on putting it like on the same level as that last one. But it might be a few steps worse. Maybe, maybe it's where we were going to put the other one like there. Yeah. And then, how oh, is this? Yeah, this is a new, a new chapter here. So she's saying you got to split the chopsticks neatly and it's good luck if you do it. This is a pretty good bit. And then Chio ruins all the fun. Because she just shows everyone how to do it right. This might break into A. This is funny. This is a big joke that paid off. Yeah. Yeah, this was, this was foreshadowed long ago. And then... And then Osaka gets angry that Tomo didn't do it right. That's cool. That's good. We'll, we'll put that in A. Um, maybe like... Probably above Penguin. Yeah, that's fine. And then... The moment we've all been waiting for. Oh my, oh my god! god. Yes. Yes! Dude, it was crazy watching this show for the first time and like not getting to this bit until the second to last episode. I was on the edge of my seat the whole time. Like a jump scare. <laughs> I don't think this is like the greatest. Well, that that part's pretty funny, and then it it kind of like 
falls off towards the end. What is bro saying? This is good. She wakes up. And just the the rest of the segments, like, fine. I, w I would not say... I would probably not say that that carries this, this segment into S tier on its own. No. I would, I would say that this is in A. Mm, like, high A. Maybe even worse than Sata on Dagi. Just because, like, this Wait, has... What? This has a really good bit at the start, and then it kind of falls off. This, this has got a couple good bits. I'm freaking out right now. That's my hot take of the day. I've only had... I'm this is my first it. hot take of the day, actually. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm panicking. I don't I'm think Hello Every Nyan is S tier. We just gotta consider the rest of the chapter, and the rest of the chapter is just all right. It's not not that much to it. Oh my god! I'm freaking out. This is this tier the the way this tier list looks. The the way that these two aren't in S tier. That's how you know we actually have seen the show. That's how we know we're serious. Yeah. We don't fuck around. Okay. Yep. Um, what's this last one? Uh, I think they're getting, like, acceptance letters from college. Okay, I think the bit here is that Tomo and Osaka both got into their college, but then Yomi didn't, even though she's the... Smarter one. Smart one, yeah. That's alright. Uh, there's some good stuff in there that I didn't really... That I kind of scrolled past. I might put this... Uh, right below floaters. Oh, reliable. That's a pretty solid episode. Yeah. And then, one of the last one here. So. Let's see. We got some, some chill music to start it off because it's the graduation episode this is this is the one where you start crying <laughs> oh and look at the character growth she's not even gonna try to pet it oh my god oh actually maybe she is i don't remember this Whoa. Uh, she's learned nothing. She's, she's learned nothing. Uh, what is this? They're awesome tissues. Uh, okay. Yeah, this is this is funny. She's just doing nonsense again. That's funny. Um, I might put that at like the bottom of a. It's got a couple of good bits, and then it's got like vibes at the very start as well. Um, 
I like I like this one better. This might be like one of my favorite bits in the show. I like that. That's good. Uh, she like stands up for the like honor student or something. Chio gets a certificate, but she probably faked that too. Dude, she did. And then they then they sing the graduation song, and then this this is where you start crying. I'll put that in A. Uh, higher than the last one. I like that one. A lot. Uh, maybe like... Right there. Or maybe... Is it better than Ballin? It might be. I'm a fan of that one. It's pretty good. I think Ballin is exceptional. Yeah, we could... We could move Ballin up one, actually. Maybe, maybe like that. There's, there's a lot to the balling segment besides balling. Mm. All right, next one. The next, the next one is where uh, the teacher tries to uh, suffocate Chio, just awesome because she wanted to. And that's also funny. That's this is also like high A. Easy. That's good. I'm putting that in high A. Probably probably just right next to the last one. A little bit lower. I think we've got a good spread going. And then, what's next? I think from there, this episode probably like falls off a little bit. Yeah. Um. She's like uh, pouring her energy into the good luck charm for Yomi to get accepted somewhere. And this this part, you start crying again if you didn't already. Just fucking bawling. Yeah. And then they get together after school and like she she gets into her college and it's a happy ending. Um Don't they drop? Uh, no. I don't drop her. That would be really funny. <laughs> yeah. I think those Two are both like probably just like low B. It's, yeah, they're all right. They're fine. It's mostly, it's mostly for the the fans, you know. Yeah. It's, it's like thank God we got through it. Feels a bit like a graduation uh, for the people watching for sure. Like we we did it. We mm -hmm. got through that shit. That's it. That's we did it. We did it. We fucking did it. Four and a half hours. I thought it might take like three. We did kind of, I did like go between tabs at pretty much like every time. So yeah, we were pretty thorough. I think, okay, just for the sake of how this looks, I'm, I'm bumping this down. This was, this was my pick anyways. So I think that's fine. Um, I think I like the spread we have. S is basically just top 10. A is a little over twice that big. And then B and then C is biggest, but not by much. Yeah. I like that B and C are fairly balanced. And then D. We had like a lot of Ds in a row, and then we didn't get like any in the last like 10 episodes, which was interesting. Yeah. 
I think it got better. Yeah, I think we we could probably like move like that one down. Yeah. Uh, but I think the rest of these don't. I, I don't think anything else needs to be bumped up or down. What was your favorite clip? Um, this was like the first S. I, I insisted on this one being S for the start. I think this one might still be my favorite. This is the most like your tripping balls one. Yeah. I'm not so sure about this one being second. But it's it's definitely pretty good. Because I, I think we liked this one quite a bit. So putting this one so far up above it kind of seems not quite right. Yeah. I think I think I might move this one down a few pegs. I think it's below America. Or no, it's not. I think it's above America. Just my one. I think I like that better. This one also... This one was grains of truth followed by yeah. this bit. So that that's pretty good. That's like Do you think grains that's, of truth is better than murder of Sokka? Um yeah, I don't think this one's like top three material. Mm. Um Honestly, I feel like both of these could go up more. Or maybe like all these three could go up more. Because do we do we really think this this one is better than this one? Like the, these are both like the driving bits of the like oh, beach trip good. episodes. That is pretty damn good. I know, I'm not... Uh, I feel like I feel like we could change some stuff here. I think this one goes down a few pegs. That goes there. Are we okay with this one being top three? Yeah. Okay. I think that this might be this might be drastic, but I, I think I'm gonna do this. No, nah, that's fine. Uh I like the knife part of murder Osaka more than the scary story part. Yeah. Should this even be S? Like yes. when we have these two, we could could like swap either of these two out for either of these two if we wanted to. No, um, I think that I think that it'd be fine. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. My personal favorite is definitely America. This one. Yeah. Th that one's insane. That one is pretty good. That that's like one I don't think about too much. That's kind of a a sleeper pick, if you will. It's yeah. a good good reason to uh watch the VOD. Um for like I really like this one as like a as a go to. That's a classic. So I'm glad that this is top five. Yeah. I think this is good. Yep. Good shit, good shit. We made it. We did it, Reddit. We I might uh I might download this. It's like a PDF? Yeah, the, the, well there's a download button. You can't have all this hard work go to waste, right? No. Oh, I'll put the uh 
I'll put the tier list link in the in the description as well. Mm -hmm. um, probably should have done that already, but all right. It's 9 p.m. I should eat. Thanks for yeah. coming on the stream. You you stuck through the whole thing. That's crazy. Yeah, I am hungry. All right. I'm gonna. All right. Thanks, stream. I'm gonna exit the Discord yeah. call and and sign off. Bye. See ya. All right. Um, I can't. I can't get it all in one in one screenshot, but I mean, there you go. You've seen it. You've been looking at it for the past four and a half hours. You're good. We're just wrapping up the Azumanga Dio tier list. So yeah, um, I think, I think that's it. Next stream will probably be in like three months at this rate. I've been doing I've been doing streams like once every three months. And I don't know. Oops. There we go. I don't know what the next stream will be. So stay tuned for that, I guess. Between now and then it's probably just scores. I don't really have any other like variety content on the horizon as of now. I've been pretty busy but i should my my unspoken goal so far has been to upload once a month this year um and so far so good hopefully i can stick to that so yeah um i i did just post azumanga dio opening score last week so if you're a fan of azumanga dio uh, which you might be if you're at this point in the stream, you could go check that out. But yeah, other than that, it's 9 p.m. I'm going to go eat. So have a good night and talk to you in like three months. Bye, chat.